Alright, welcome once again to HeroQuest fans. It's Saturday, and you know what that means. We're going to be doing some live questing here. If you're watching us on Twitch, we are live. Twitch.tv slash HeroQuest fans. If you're watching this on YouTube, sorry, this is the replay. It's not live, but maybe you can try catching us uh, the next Saturday stream. So, as usual, on HeroQuest fans, every... Most every Saturday. I mean, we take a few breaks here. Horses yield in forum. Let's just adjust that a little bit here. Hope you're all doing well today. Okay, so the first picture that comes out, this is from Encarmine, Avalon Hill. Uh, His Bazaar Gun posts this. Also, do my Montalto. Action Fence, Verg. Um, Elviler, several people posted this stuff and we're talking about it so who was first doesn't matter point is we get to see cool stuff happening so he says uh, still attempting to decipher that letter's signature are we he's talking about the rogue air of Elethorn. perhaps we can shed some moonlight upon the subject originally founded by Ladril the elven fighter mage Ladril or Ladril is the character that's mentioned in the prologue to the original hero quest the elf character so it's like the mentor gathers the four heroes who fight Zargon or Morkar you know centuries ago and then the time has come for new heroes to fight him again he's come back and so that's what they do uh, let's see the cadre of the Raven's Veil that was a group that was mentioned in the folded like lore card that came with the rogue air velothorn hero collection there's like a little folded parchment simulated parchment thing that tells the story and we're like who are these guys and actually Encarmin I think has that on his own business card cadre of the raven's veil so it's like aha some kind of in joke okay the cadre of the raven's veil is a secret society of elves who have sworn a blood oath to protect the royal throne of elethorn from the clutches of dread so now whenever they say dread you know in the original game that would have been chaos and Elithorn, that was reworded originally it was Alithorn or Alithorn, but since that was too close to the Warhammer fantasy world, they changed some things around. But now they're making their own lore. And Carmi continues, often working from behind the shadows, their activities often go unnoticed and are seldom recognized, quietly ensuring the continued stability of their kingdom. Membership in the cadre is limited to those elves considered most honorable and loyal to their people, with a roster kept from even the royal court. So, okay, kind of interesting. And the pictures you're about to see, people are pointing out, oh, gee, it looks kind of like Assassin's Creed. And you could say, well, what is Assassin's Creed? They're just taking ninjas, kind of like the 80s conception of what ninjas look like with the cloaks and the, you know, wraps and the masks over the faces. And then they're just dressing it up a little bit to some quasi-historical looking character. But yeah, just like you could say that the new aesthetic of the remake Hero Quest is largely inspired, 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 can't even talk, inspired by anime and World of Warcraft and all that stuff. You could say, sure, games aesthetics continue to influence the designs, but whatever. Anyway, continuing on, just got to get the right image here. So then he has this picture, and then uh, Hispazargon mentions that Ladril being described as a fighter and a mage. Uh, this is Hispazargon. According to the classic advanced HeroQuest board game, which I don't have, by the way, the elf character is a high elf from the Warhammer universe. And I mentioned in the thread that I'd always been told, and of course I don't know enough about Warhammer lore to really say that the the original design of the Hero Quest Elf was based on a Wood Elf, or that was the Wood Elf design. But then you got High Elves and Dark Elves and all this other stuff that was designed, you know, developed, inspired by things that Tolkien had going. But let's see what else we've got here. So there's more more things were revealed. So all these pictures I grabbed from other people. Let's see, dude by Montalto Blaze, forgot to credit him, Verg, Elviler, Action Fence, Hispa's Argon. So we got this image here. Sneak peek, the cadre of the Ravensvale, led by a heroic guardian knight, do battle with a trio of translucent specters. 
These are just some some of the spectacular figures contained within the Hero Quest Rise of the Dread Moon, available July fifteenth. Okay, so I think I said something like, "Well, I hope they're this isn't these aren't the only plastic figures in there," and I guess answered my own question because it says right there these are just some of the figures. So we won't assume that you know what's in the box are just more more of these, but there there are other things too. So this is all they've revealed so far, but still it's something. So we finally have confirmation that these these uh, specter figures, these ghostly characters, actually are transparent or translucent, semi-translucent. And they're kind of a white clear color rather than being blue or green. Then we've got these dark red, these kind of burgundy purplish colored figures. And then of course the Guardian Knight, which looks almost identical to the male Guardian Knight from the ill-timed exclusive that everybody was upset about except he's got a really cool helmet with a plume on it and apparently there's only one guardian knight we've learned but these cadre of the raven's veil vale, these four figures so you'll see some more of this in a second here so i'll just show you some more things so this image here i can't quite see it there we go so this image here so we've got I would call this the equivalent of the swordsman so it's not a swordsman clearly it's a uh, female looking elf character with two hatchets or two axes yeah and then people were saying well maybe this is like a dual wielding character and we don't know what these are we don't know if these are like rogues like do they have special abilities or are they just the elf equivalent of the mercenaries that we got in Frozen Horror. Like, the swordsman had high attack and high defense, but low movement. Maybe this is like the swordsman. But let's look at some more pictures, and I'll give some more of my thoughts and commentary on these revelations. So the next picture we've got here is a crossbowman. Yeah, I, I get what people are saying with the Assassin's Creed aesthetic. Now, it's not like a wrist crossbow or a wrist blade, but it's like a pistol crossbow, a much smaller version of a crossbow. And people were saying, well, you know, these type of crossbows in real life aren't as powerful and they aren't as accurate as, you know, the big two-handed crossbows. But the thing is, these are all game mechanics in Hero Quest, so it can be whatever you want. It doesn't have to be historically accurate it doesn't have to be realistic it just it just is you know does it roll three dice or does it roll four dice does it re-roll dice does it you know get two attacks or one attack you know does it roll regular dice or some other kind of dice what 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 is it does, it, does the enemy get to defend or not does it hit close range or you know whatever but anyway you can see there's this uh, dagger in the other hand or maybe a short sword short blade of some kind well we remember the the crossbowmen from the Frozen Horror, the mercenaries, who were found in other packs, you know, but as far as the remake version, that's the only version that uh, is out because Wizards of Morkar hasn't been remade yet. That had mercenaries. So did, well, they were dark warriors in the Dark Company. But anyway, yeah. So that character had a crossbow, which was three attack, and then since the crossbow has to hit at range, even though there's that whole controversy over whether it can hit the four close diagonals. Nevertheless, he's got a uh, broadsword for close range. So it's three close, three at range. So you can't stop him from firing by getting close. But anyway, there's this sort of elven design of it. He's got a cloak. You'll notice something with the details here. They're wearing kind of like rags and hoods and kind of disguised looking clothing. But you can see there's armor peeking out. So there's like a shoulder pauldron there. Uh, the other figure had some armor. So they all seem to be wearing armor. So whether these are elite uh, special forces or if these are just, you know, a secret society that just kind of has makeshift um, gear, who knows? We, we don't really know that much yet. Other than what Incarmine said there. So let's just keep on going with our discussion here. Okay. Sorry, I seem to have lost the window I was looking at. Oh, 
Ah, here we are. Sorry about that. Okay. Next figure we've got is... I would say this is a halberdier. Now, does this mean that all those pictures we were speculating about from the box art for Rise of the Dread Moon, like the Spearman and the Chaos Warrior and all that, are just phony, or are those yet to be revealed? I guess we just have to imagine those are yet to be revealed. We don't know if there's only four of these guys in the pack, or if there's multiples of each one. But once again, you see the armor peeking out from behind the weaponry. So, it looks cool. Dark red is not a, char a color that we've gotten before. I mean, we had red, green, off-white, gray, and then light blue for all the expansions. So, they're doing some new things with this. But again, this is, this is a brand new pack. This Rise of the Dread Moon is not a remake of any previous legacy product. So, we don't know what direction they're going with it necessarily. But I like the fact that it's not just copying stuff in the Mage of the Mirror, even though the storyline takes place, like, shortly after. Well, I guess I don't even know that. I mean, is it years later? Is it minutes later? Is it months later? Who knows? Next image we've got here, I would call this the Scout, just because, look at him. I mean, yes, he's got a sword. There's another photo of, of him that's not very good that you'll see later where he has a shield on his back. So sword and shield. Okay, that's that mercenary. But look at him. He's looks like he's examining the ground. So what, do you, what does that make you think of? Search. He can search for traps. You know, he can disarm traps. That's something that the scout can do. So I'm guessing that's pretty much a clue that this is that the equivalent of that. But now what are what are these cadre of the Ravens Vale. Are they going to show up as just NPCs? I mean, they're supposed to be on your side, right? But do they, you ever fight like evil versions of these guys? Uh, do you have to hire them? And if so, do they cost more than the regular ones? Do they have the same stats? Because the Avalon Hill guys, they can't assume that you own all the expansions. Not every HeroQuest fan is, is going to own every single one. So all they can assume is that you own the game system and then whatever expansions you buy. So you might not have the Frozen Horror, you might have not have mercenaries to contribute to the quests. And if they're designing the quests with mercenaries in mind, like, oh, the Cadre of the Raven's Veil vale shows up, they're going to help you. Like, okay, well, if you have the other pack, you know, that they may not come into play at all. Now, when Avalon Hill released the remake version of the Mage of the Mirror Elf Quest Pack, they did say in the booklet and in the... Um, companion app version well if you happen to own frozen horror and you want to use mercenaries you can to make the game a little easier use your gold to hire some troops to help you out we've seen in the streams how helpful they can be of course they also can drop like flies because they've only got two body points so would these be just this pack's version of mercenaries or would they be special like what if you had both you could say you know choose which ones that you want to hire in a in a particular quest. So we really don't know much beyond that because we haven't seen any stats for them, any cards for them, just these pictures. Still, it's nice to get some, some news finally. So with this picture, I think all they did was just kind of brighten up the picture that was posted on Facebook and other social media. So you see the Guardian Knight in there. Like I said, good looking figure looks pretty much just like the um, actually his pose I mean he's right-handed with the sword so the female guardian knight was right-handed whereas the male guardian knight was left-handed but whatever it's um, you can't really tell if it's a man or a woman in there it's just it's got the helmet and that's probably was probably their intention they just release one figure and just say yeah it can be whoever you want under there and they get to have one red piece of plastic and then you see there's three specters. Does that mean there's only three in the box? We don't know. There's three depicted in the artwork, unless you count some of those other faces, those ghostly faces. But we know this: this uh, specters are evil monsters who can pass through walls and use magic. And then we know what the Guardian Knight is, as is about to be revealed here. So this is just revisiting an old picture. All I did was just zoom in and sharpen it just a little bit. That's what the specter looks like. It's a monster. It's 
Some people made some jokes about the expression on the face. We won't get into that. And just looking a little more closely, now all these figures have their back turned to us, so we can't see what the face looks like. But it would be kind of hard to tell anyway, because it just has this frosted glass look. And I assume it's, it'll still be the same bendy plastic, because, I mean, Reaper Bones releases their miniatures in kind of a bendy plastic that's like pre-assembled. But it's still, it's not brittle, it's not stiff. So it's not like these will be glass. I would expect these to be just kind of rubbery. And you could paint them if you wanted. Maybe give it a basic wash, but depending on... I mean, if you if you paint it completely, obviously you're going to lose the, the transparent look. But it's, it's kind of cool. We haven't had a transparent HeroQuest figure before. So it's a little gimmick that people enjoy. It's another one. Again, you don't see a lot of detail. It just... I mean, the original box art that we saw was so blurred and everything, it, it almost looked like they were mermaids. And they kind of do look kind of like mermaids, but they've got this base of, like, fog or mist, or almost looks like slime that they're kind of oozing out of. But they become solid enough that when they attack you, you can attack them back. Alright, just taking a look at another picture here. Yeah, this is that same picture, it's just the original version was, was dark. So, just kind of looking at it. So yeah, you'll be able to tell at a glance the difference between the Cadre of the Raven's Veil and the Guardian Knight, with, even without painting them. If you're colorblind, would this be as good? Maybe not, but dark red, almost like black, or purple, and this lighting and then kind of a red or dark red and of course the transparent specters they're considered undead as well so undead weapons could harm them all right this is just a composite so i just overlaid this over the picture but originally they were separated so it says title hero quest rise of the dread moon prequel quest short description all is not right in the Elven Kingdoms, four brave adventurers must discover what evil machinations are afoot. So I'll, I noticed that for the August 3rd through 6th Gen Con schedule, which I may or may not be attending, but it's it's kind of a long shot if I would be there. But this Rise of the Dread Moon is releasing July 15th, so it'll be out already. Everybody will know what's in the box. But I looked at the schedule for Avalon Hill, and it looks like they're all playing this Rise of the Dread Moon prequel quest. So that kind of makes me think they're holding on to that prequel quest. It's probably going to be one of these free digital quests that they release, you know, just online as a PDF that you can use. And then if you want to, um, you know, play it on the companion app, it'll probably be on there but it'll be outside of the regular quest book. So this will be the one that entices you to buy the, the real thing, is my thought. And that's what they'll be playing at Gen Con. So that'd be kind of cool. So we might have to wait for that. And obviously that doesn't tell us very much, but usually these prequel quests, I mean, we look at them, you know, Forsaken Tunnels of Zorzel, which is supposed to be a prequel to Keller's Keep, but it's more like Return of the Witch Lord because it has lots of undead monsters. We got Into the Northlands, which introduced a lot of the stuff from the Frozen Horror, but, I mean, you didn't get to fight the Polar War Bear. He was just kind of there. The Ice Gremlin does his own thing. But it sort of introduced you to the world of it and kind of, you know, uh, try to get you interested. Now, they did not release a prequel digital quest. Oh, yeah, and then they did New Beginnings, which was kind of like for the game system an alternate first quest. They didn't do one for the Mage of the Mirror. So people were kind of waiting. So I, it looks like we'll have to wait a little bit longer. But this was posted, I believe, on Facebook. So some stuff gets posted on Facebook or Instagram or the Avalon Hill Discord, and then our fans bring it in. Hey. Sorry, just acknowledging the comment. They're from Aconite Shadow Moss. Welcome. The music is from Tron, no? Well, it's Carl Casey, White Bat Audio. A lot of his stuff is clearly inspired by other things, remixes of movies and TV shows, a lot of stuff from the 80s. 
and 90s. So I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, it's been a while. I own Tron on DVD somewhere. And people say, well, it's not that great of a movie. Yeah, it isn't, but it's it's kind of fun. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of cool. It's got an interesting aesthetic. Hey, Rich Boy. Richie Boy is back. Yeah, we're just talking about Rise of the Dread Moon here. I know I'm taking up some time. Jart says here. Toddy Bowl. 81. Yeah, we'll be playing Hero Quest here shortly. We, we need some heroes. But first I was talking about this Rise of the Dread Moon stuff that was released uh, Friday. So we've gotten a few more reveals of stuff. Mostly just these miniatures. So again, referencing Yield In. So there was this... Let's see, what was it here? Oh yeah, someone just mentioned what Wood Elves look like in Warhammer. That's Malaysia Iron Hoof, 1987. Okay, so this thing was posted on Instagram. So there's a, a short video, Hasbro interview. It's from Median or Medena Play, I think. I'm not sure all the people in this in this uh, image here, but. They look kind of familiar. Have I seen that guy before? Is that our Spanish uh, correspondent? But anyway, yeah, so... Some people probably know who these people are. But anyway, they were they were asking questions about the new expansion. So let me just close these down here. I haven't seen the video. I can't access it. It's on... Instagram, but here's pictures of the miniatures. So, I mean, nothing we haven't seen already, just the figures again. They look almost purple in this light, or pink. Kind of a dark pink. And then there's the, the Guardian Knight card. So, from what I understand from the translation, the Guardian Knight in this new pack is still just going to have the same three skill cards. So, Shield Block, um... Knight's Challenge, and what was the other one? Stalwart. So it sounds like there's only going to be one knight, not two. And it'll just be the same three skills. So it looks like they're doing the Peach Assault on this character. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and then another picture. They're just looking at the cards. They also confirmed that the two... I mean, we were... People were speculating, like, what's that number when they showed the picture of the we don't know if it's called the alchemist deck or the potions deck but they they're basically recasting several of the potions into its own deck so all the potions that you find in the different expansions are all going to be put into one deck and they're going to be for any hero and the prices are adjusted so the potion of frost skin and the potion of restoration are both going to be 300 gold coins so that was a 300 that we were meant to see Let's see, more pictures. Yeah, the quality isn't very good on this. The sound quality isn't very good either, but yeah, you don't see really any detail, just sort of the profile of these characters. From Rise of the Dread Moon, there you can see the shield on the back of the what I'm calling the scout, and then of course the two hatchet person, and then the crossbow person with the dagger, and then the halberd person. It's Guardian Knight again. Yeah, we've already seen more detail on this character. But yeah, very similar. If you just kind of squint your eyes, you wouldn't really know it wasn't the same one. The artwork is very similar, but again, just uh, that looks like the shield block. Yeah, the artwork is very, very similar. So, I'm sure they did that on purpose for all the people who missed out on the exclusive. You know, they weren't able to get a copy from GameStop, and they're not able to pay $250 to some scalper on eBay. So, those people will all get a chance to get the same character. And he looks cooler, I think. Oh yeah, and then this is just the picture again. So do we see any of those characters here? I don't see any Cadre of the Raven's Veil. Of course, if they're in disguise, they could be anyone, right? They could be anybody. 
are these guys in the foreground meant to be some of them? But why would they be coming after the hero then? Because it looks like they're fighting against the hero. So I don't think we see them in this picture unless they're in disguise. But we do see the specters, the three specters. And I don't know if this Sinestra ghost figure is supposed to be one of them or what. So there's probably more to be revealed, as his Bazargan was saying. So that's that. And then I was just going to jump over a couple pages back here. So Doug Hopkins had the blog post. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this this picture here. So this is what we were speculating about. So this potion of restoration, this is the one body point, one mind point. That's supposed to be 300 gold. So they've got that stylized three. We were guessing, is that a five? Is it a six? What is it? It's a three. And then the frost skin, 300. So... Yeah, just for reference, the Potion of Frost skin is normally 300, except that only the Barbarian can use it. And as far as the Restoration, I kind of forget if it was 300 or not. But they said adjustments will be made. And then we've already seen this. This is just from before. The Channel Dread. Sounds like a TV station. Channel Dread. Nothing but Dread all the time. So this is what the Spectre has, you can use to attack heroes with. It's an evil spell. And of course, once again, the Spectre. Eight movement, three attack, three defend, one body, zero mind. You can use Channel Dread. Okay, so what do you think of all that stuff? Aconite Shadow Moss says, I didn't know they were, there were new expansions still coming out. Yeah, yeah. This one's set for July 15th of this year. And if it's anything like the last couple of releases, I wouldn't be surprised if people got... So they'll have pre-orders and then like sometime in early June or like mid-June, they'll just suddenly stop and it'll be order. And you can order it on Amazon and get it like before the release date. I mean, that's how Frozen Horror was. Well, Frozen Horror, they were so ahead of schedule by the time they announced it officially, like everybody had it already. Uh, and then Mage of the Mirror was the same way. Like, people were getting their copies like a month before it came out. And not even pre-ordering. And they've said before, people have asked. People said, well, you know, I don't want to hurt the company. Uh, I feel like they'll get more money if I order it direct from Hasbro Pulse website. And they're like, doesn't matter. Like, we still get paid either way. It's there's really no big deal. So if you order it from Big Bad Toy Store or Amazon or wherever you get it, as long as you're not buying it from some scalper for a markup, you know, they still get paid, so don't worry about it. Any third party you get it from, any not at third party, what am I saying? Any retailer, it's going to be about the same as far as the company's concerned. They, they, they know how many units they've sold. So yeah, Rise of the Dread Moon. Story-wise, it's supposed to follow after, it's the taking place in the aftermath of Mage of the Mirror. Beyond that, and, you know, the, the idea that Sir Ragnar is in it, apparently as a bad guy, we don't really know much, much else. So, but I'm looking forward to it. I mean, we've seen original content from them before, but this time it's all going to be in-house. So, the only person we know of, for sure, that's working on it is Doug Hopkins, as far as the quest mechanics go. Cheers, Dead Gamer. And then we know one of the artists... So I guess there's a guest artist. Or maybe he worked... Well, I think he's a freelance artist. Sorry, I forget his name. But yeah, they're developing it in-house. So Stephen Baker isn't involved in this one. Teo Sabadia isn't involved. Joe Manganiello isn't. Manganiello. I can't remember how to say his name correctly, but yeah. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be at least passable. I'm sure it won't be terrible. All right. So I think we're going to maybe... Yeah, we're going to transition into the actual game now. So who wants to play HeroQuest tonight? 
We're just continuing on from the Frozen Her Horror. Welcome, Gons Grimm. So let me stop sharing this. So this is our new setup, our new layout. So as you can see, I've, I've kind of cleaned things up a little bit here, trying to make it so you can actually see the, the hero body points a little bit easier. So on the right side of your screen, we've got the Barbarian. Below him is the Rogue, the Elf, the Wizard, and then the Knight. Yes, that's right. There's five heroes. But with these quests, I think you need all the help you can get. So once more, I, I have some of my painted figures out here. Now these are not paint jobs that I did originally, but eventually I will be redoing these. So there's the Elf. Yeah, he could... I can, I'm sure I can do better than this. But that's how he came. The only thing I changed on it was the eyes, because I couldn't stand the eyes. And, and even now, they still need some work. There's the barbarian. Yeah, with the crazy eyes, crazy doll eyes. I like the blood on the sword, though. That's kind of a cool thing. And then the wizard, I just gave him some goofy facial hair, just for fun. But yeah, I'm going to redo these figures completely. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip these plastics of their paint completely. And I'm going to use these to paint. Ah, Rich Boy. Excellent. We have one volunteer. Yes, I, uh, Darkhawk contacted me and said that he's busy with family events. So we'll be happy to have you. So that's one. So I'm going to... These are 3D printed. I'm actually going to paint these. Yeah, I'm one of those guys that doesn't want to paint his originals, but he will paint these these recreations. And of course, the classic dwarf. But as you can see, I've been working on these other ones, and these are by no means finished, but, you know, working on the skeletons. Adding a little detail to them. Give them some, some life, some character as I practice my painting skills. And here we've got, oh, I gotta give him a belt. Looks like he's got an intestine poking out. That's the, <laughs> that's my first uh, zombie there. You can see, focus. It's a hard time focusing. Anyway, working on that. And you've seen these already, but uh, working on these chaos warriors. It's kind of basic, but I think they look cool. That's what I'm going for. And I've got many, 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 many more figures to do. Got my first halberd here, mostly done. He needs a little bit more detail on him, I think. And then my first scout turned out fairly well so far, I think. All right, so Richie boy, Rich boy is going to be playing. I think we need more than just one guy. That's a lot of heroes to control. I mean, Darkhawk tried it. Um. Are you talking about the quest that we're playing right now? This is quest nine of the Frozen Horror. The Frozen Throne is Warcraft 3, my friend. <laughs> but yeah, the Frozen Horror. We're playing the Frozen Horror. There's a lot of debate about what what's the proper order to play the quests in. I don't really care that much about that. I mean, you play the game system first and then whatever expansions you want. But in terms of difficulty, I think the Frozen Horror is like the hardest one. So you probably should play the Mage of the Mirror before this one. But then, I think with Rise of the Dread Moon, they're talking about the Frozen Horror taking place first, and then uh, Mage of the Mirror, and then Rise of the Dread Moon. So, yeah. I do want to show one other thing, and this is not a sponsored deal. I don't even know if he sells these. If he does, whoops. <laughs> I'll have to put a little disclaimer. But yeah, uh, Ribby, who gave us the Mentor Bot, with the dice rolling, virtual dice rolling, and also designed a DD Dice uh, mod for HeroQuest fans. We have our own dddice.com room. He also has these. These are 3D printed 
like rings looks like a, a bottle cap or something like what what the heck is this I can wear it like a ring well the point of this is you can take a mercenary figure from the remake and like fit him in there it's like oh so that that would be like one hero's mercenary now he only gave me only he gave me a variety of these colors so it's pretty sweet thank you by the way ribby thank you for sending me these to me didn't pay a dime for them it was just a cool thing to do he gave me all different colors so it's not like i was thinking like oh okay uh you know one hero gets red one gets blue one gets yellow one gets you know gray or green or white or whatever and so you could differentiate them but it's still a pretty cool idea and actually some of them it's kind of a snug fit it's like oh sweet so if you paint that, I mean, I guess it only touches that outer edge. So as long as that's varnished, it's probably okay. And I mean, it doesn't quite fit the heroes perfectly, but that's okay. It's only, it only really needs to fit the mercenaries. So really cool idea, really simple. It's not permanent. Yeah, so stays on there. Now, if you're using a 3D printed figure, it may you may have to kind of work it in there a little bit. But yeah, you could differentiate these characters pretty easily. Different colors. Because I've tried different things. I've tried, you know, putting tiles underneath them or just painting them differently. It's a good idea. So my next question for him was, well, what if I've got a bunch of these classic ones that have the square bases? This is obviously a 3D printed, but it'd have to be a little square thing. So that'll be the next one. So kudos, Ruby. Thanks for that. We can even use them on this stream if you want. Of course, I was just realizing these. Uh, this is the rogue right here, and this is the knight right here. And these mercenaries that I'm using are already painted. But if we add more, we can always differentiate them with colors. I figure you could take the... Maybe these would be one hero, so kind of a reddish thing. And then for like the blue and the green is like another one. And then maybe black, white, and gold are another one. <laughs> another hero. Yeah, we'll see how those go. So there's ten of them that he gave me, so one for each finger. Three rings for the Elden Kings under the sky, etc. <laughs> Seven for the Dwarf Lords and the Halls of Stone. Nine for Mortal Man doomed to die, and one for the Dark Lord and his Dark Throne. You know the rest. Land of Mordor where the shadows lie. Okay, Richie, uh, why don't you head on over to the voice channel and Discord, and we can get you geared up, play some Hero Quest. Oh, I need to update that. Hey, Richie. Richie Rich. Can you hear me? I see you in the Discord. I don't hear you speaking though. I say hi to the audience. Yeah, check your settings. Now, our good friend Jacer, he uh, joins on his smartphone because he doesn't have a PC that I know of. So he's figured out a way he can do it where he can load Twitch and Discord and see everything. So it is possible. It just might take some tinkering to do. Yeah, no problem. So do we have anybody else? Do we have any other heroes? Anybody else want to control a hero? I know that we're starting in the quest in the middle. But they haven't actually gotten that far yet. 
So let me show you. So this is the Frozen Horror Quest 9 Heart of Ice. They've discovered the stairway, the spiral stairway. Oh, I forgot to put the doors out. Well, they came in through the icy door here. And they did discover the other icy door. It's covered hey, up by the icons. Know? Hey, there he is. I can hear you now. Hey. Okay. Welcome, Richie. The stream's a bit delayed, yeah? I think. Um... I, well, I'm tr I'm trying something new to try to avoid the the delays that we normally get. So, can you see my hand waving? Uh, I can see your hand waving on on Discord. I can't see it on yeah on the stream. Okay. Okay. So now now it's showing. It's like a thirty second delay, I think. Thirty second delay to Twitch. Okay. Well, at the very least, this is going to be better for our live players because in the past, like everybody just had to wait for the screen to update, and it was like. 10 seconds, and then I complained to my internet service provider, and it was five seconds. <laughs> so it's still, still not perfect, but okay, cool. Well, uh, it's been a while since you played with us, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been maybe four or five months, I think. Ah, well, welcome back. Welcome back. Well, I hate to say it, but there's five heroes here, so it's going to be a lot for one person to control. But if you had a okay. preference... <laughs> Do you have a, do you have like a notepad or something of all the character stuff that? Well, I have it all written down, and I can get it to you in a minute. Get that information. Do you have your own pencil and paper? I've copy and paste. I could get a pencil and paper if you want. Sure, sure. Whatever works best for you. Actually, if you'll just give me one second, I just got to grab two pieces, and I'll be right back. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, man. See you, mate. I'll get a bit of pen and paper. Okay, so we got the icy door here. We got the escape door, if you will, over over there. But the point of this quest is not to escape. The point is to find the crystal key, which has not yet been located. Actually, that's over here. Find the crystal key that opens this door to the central room. And then fight the frozen horror boss. Eliminate him, and then you win the whole campaign. Now, of course, if you're in the Twitch audience, you can always make suggestions. You can actually use your gold coins, your channel points to buy stuff for the heroes. Um, potions and things. You can also buy stuff for the bad guys. For your old pal Uncle Zargon, you can buy monsters. But let's see. Got one hero here. Anybody else? It might be better for me to run like Discord in computer as well as using it for chat. Yeah. Whatever you think. Uh, I, c I can't dual log, and I'm lazy to make a new account. <laughs> You're locked out? Oh. It, it kicked me out when I tried oh, to join on. Those jerks. Yeah. That, I, can't, I can't be like two places at once. Oh, yeah. Well. I get a 10 second delay when I do something here. So that's not bad. Okay. Okay. Well, if you wanted, had to pick one as your primary hero, uh, who would you want to be? I like I like the good old Barb. I remember last time I had good fun with him. Has he still got Stabby McStab? I forget <laughs> the, the, name of the, the name of the sword he had. Yeah, Molly the Murderous. Molly the Murderous. <laughs> Stabby McStab is pretty good too. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, that's that's like the kind of thing that we would have done as kids, for sure. Yeah. All right. 
Yeah, okay, so let me give you all the Barbarian's uh, stats. Here. Kind of relaxed at the start anyway, because you never know who's going to show up. Okay, so for attack, he's got four, including diagonal. Since he's a champion, he'll roll two black and two white for attack. And you remember how to do the the dice rolling in the Discord chat? Uh, no. Okay. Um, is there an app or something? Or well, it's in Discord, so I'll just show you. Okay. Yeah, you don't I... have to install anything. I'm still on Discord, so I can I can look in, in there. Yeah, you can uh, see a little command I type is exclamation point HQ roll space the number space the color. Now, when you roll your movement, you're gonna do just roll exclamation point roll and then like two d six. So there, I got a ten. Exclamation okay. roll. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the Barbarian, he's wearing the cold iron plate, so he actually only gets 1d6 for movement, but he's got the snowshoes of speed, so it's 1d6 plus 2 squares is how he moves. Okay. His defense is going to be 5 dice, because he's got the helmet, the cold iron plate, and let's see, for... His body points, his maximum is actually 10 because he has the Amulet of the North, but he's down to 5. So he has taken some damage there. 5 or 10, okay. Oh, for some reason I have 4. That's an error. Let me fix that. Should be 5. On screen. That's, a, that's another thing I need to be reminded about is to up, actually update it on the screen too. There we go. Okay. And he does have a couple of skills, so I'm using these combat cards. He's got one called Rally Cry. Let me just get that card. Rally and Cry. So from now until the end of the turn, each hero may roll one extra attack and defense dice. And I would apply that to your henchman too. If you use that, that's a one-time use thing. It doesn't count as an action. So rally and cry. And then the other one you have is called hidden reserves. That'll give you back two lost body points. So that can save you from dying too. Okay. Get it? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so attack dice, 4, 2 white, 2 black, movement 1d6 plus 2, death 5 dice, body points 5 out of 10, rallying cry, plus 1 attack, 1 death, yeah. in reserve, 2 body points if I need it. Yep, and your maximum mind points is 3 and you've lost 1, so you're down to 2, but I mean, you don't lose mind points that often. So never You gotta have a mind, right? Yeah, otherwise you're gonna get, go is to it 2 or 3, yeah? Two out of three. Okay. Now he has 40 gold coins in the stash there. And he's got a bunch of potions. So when you're ready, I'll rattle those off for you. Yeah, go for it. All right. Full of gold coin. Uh, healing 1d6. Magic resistance. So that'd be the effects of any chaos spell. He's got a healing plus four. He's got fire resistance, so only fire based spells. He's got a potion yeah. of antidote, so resistance to poison, or at least one instance of poison. Now he also has holy water and a toolkit. And then he has the Berserker Brew Scroll, so that is essentially just like courage. So you could use that once anytime. Okay. 
right, so so you take the barbarian, the simple, easy character, and just weight him down with gear <laughs> to make him complicated. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. And he still moves pretty far. Yeah. He still do a decent amount of damage. Okay, so we've got the all these other heroes too, and I'm not sure who's coming. So we've got an elf. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hello? Yeah. So the yeah. elf uh, is—he's got the earth spells, and he's got. He's already used up one of them. And I'm actually trying to remember which one he used up, to be honest with you. Yeah, it was the healing, I think. Okay, so he's got Rock Skin and Pastor Rock left. And the Elf is down to two body points out of six. And for weapons, so he's got three attack dice because he has a long sword. Yep. And a crossbow. And for yep. defense, he's got five dice because he's wearing bracers as a helmet and a shield. And four potions, when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. So he's got two potions of warmth. One potion yeah. of restoration. That's the one that gives you one body, one mind. He's got the one healing D6. A potion of vision. That's the one that lets you see tra see traps and secret doors. Potion of defense. Magical aptitude. That's the one that lets you use two uh, different spells on one turn instead of just one. Potion of recall. That's the one that lets him get one spell back that he's used up. And then lastly, he's got Shellac and Mortar, which is rock skin. It's like a single use scroll. Yeah. You need some more paper there, or are you doing, <laughs> doing okay? I have, I have, a, I have like, I'm, I'm, I'm amassing like a little pile nice. of each. So, nice. uh, yeah, is that everything for the elf? Yep, that's everything for the elf. And four mind points. Okay. Yeah. Four mind points, okay. Yep. Maximum. Okay. And last two characters, well, th last three characters. Okay, so the wizard yep. <laughs> is actually down to one body point out of four. Okay. And his attack is two, two black dice. Because he's got the alchemist staff. That's also diagonal. It's two black. Okay, two black dice. Yep. And for defense, he's got four. So he's got bracers and the alchemist cloak. So actually he rolls three white and one green for defense. Three white, one green. All right. Um, skills. Uh, so he All spells. Yeah. So the he has he's used up one of his fire, and I think that was courage. Yeah. So he's got the other two left. Ball flame, fire wrath. For air, he's used... Yep. For air, 
he's used up Tempest. So he still has Genie and Swiftwind left. And for water, he's used up Veil of Mist. He still has water feeling and he still has sleep. Uh, Veil of Mist, so he doesn't have that, but he's got um, Water of Healing and... Sleep. Sleep. Yep. Okay. Yep. And he also has a scroll of the Gossamer Net, which is like another instance of Tempest. But he can use one time if he wants. He's got 100 gold coins. He also has a toolkit. Yep. And then he's got a bunch of potions. This guy is light loaded. He is, definitely is. <laughs> uh, so, okay, here's the potions. So he's got a potion of rejuvenation. That's just a healing 1d6 by another name. So 1d6 healing. He's got Magical Aptitude. He's got Magical Resistance for everything. Okay. He's got the Wolfsbane Potion. So on the off chance he turns into a werewolf. Right. He, <laughs> he's got the Potion of Strength. Potion of Alchemy is the one that lets you turn a piece of equipment into 100 gold coins. And the Potion of Wizardry, I always forget what this one does. This is one of those homebrew things. Let me just check real quick. Potion of Wizardry. Wizardry. Okay, you can use any spell twice. So you okay. gotta consume the potion, say which spell you wanna cast twice, and then just do it. That's how it works. Yeah. Seems cool. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. all for the wizard. And next we got the rogue. Okay. So for the rogue, he's got five body points, but he's down to one. Okay. Is there any mind for the wizard, or does that matter? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. He's got six. Six mind. Yeah, he's got the highest. He's lost his mind. Okay. Okay, so yeah, the rogue normally has five body, four mind, but he's down to one body. Five body, four mind. But uh, the rogue's got all his mind, yeah? Yeah. What about death? What about attack? Uh, yeah. So he has, he has his choice here. So he can attack with one if he's using his dagger. He can attack with two if he's using his hammer. Or three, including diagonal, if he's using his longsword. Okay. And he does have a bandolier, so he can throw his dagger and not have to worry, and his next turn he's got another one. Okay. He's also... Uh, defense. Uh, yeah, I, uh, wearing a buckler, so because of that he has three defense. If the enemy attacks him and misses, he can roll one die in retaliation. It's like a free hit. Yeah. Okay. And he has, in addition to his his built-in skills, are, do you remember the uh, the rogue skills? No. no. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> I I forget him too. So he's got the ability to pass through monsters on his turn anytime. He doesn't have to do anything special. He can just pass through them. 
Also, yep. if he's attacking a monster who's adjacent to a hero, he gets a one die bonus. Okay. Yep. That includes himself, yeah. Well, no. It'd just be an ally. So if the okay. monster is next to an ally and he attacks the monster, he gets an extra die. So instead of three, he get four. So two, one, he get two. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty pretty useful. Like backstab type thing. Yep. And if his since he doesn't have a short sword, if his first attack is with a dagger, he can attack again with the dagger, and that second attack is unblockable. So yeah, it's weak, okay. but second hit might might get lucky. So you can attack with a dagger twice, or is it like yeah, you can attack with dagger once, and then something else after that. Well, it'd have to be dagger dagger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If it's some other weapon, it's just going to be one. Now, if at some point he gets a short sword, he could do short sword dagger. Well, that's the only exception. Okay. Now, he does have a fourth skill. This is a single-use skill. It's called Faint. It lets yep. you re-roll one set of dice, and you can choose. It can be your attack dice, your defense dice, or your movement. So, single-use. Okay. Okay. All right. And he's got 65 gold coins. Okay. Speaking of gold, did I say the wizard had 100 gold coins? I think you did, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you did. All right, cool. Okay, so yeah, back to the rogue. Uh, so 65 gold, and then he's got a toolkit, which he actually doesn't need because he can disarm traps. Um, yeah. As if he, as if he had one, because he's got the bandolier. Yeah. But his potions include restoration. That's the one body point, one mind point, one. Yeah. He's got magic resistance, but only for damage. So if a spell causes okay. damage, it resists that. He's got a potion of defense. A potion of strength. A potion of warmth. Healing 1d6. Yep. And fire resistance. Okay. Excellent. Okay, ready for the last one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's like, and that's all the time we have on HeroQuest fans. Like, what? We just gonna... <laughs> Yeah, and that's it, you know. That's time <laughs> Thanks, to go back. <laughs> See you next week. No, just kidding. We got plenty of time. As long as you got time. Okay, last character is, is the knight. I'm surprised Jacer isn't here because he's usually the one who takes the knight. But the knight has three attack yep. dice because he's using okay. Fortune's Longsword. Yeah. So, which is the same as a regular longsword except once per quest you can choose to re-roll one of your dice if you want. Okay. And he's also armed with a whip, which is one attack die. It can attack diagonally, and you can use it to whip across uh, like a trap, like a swing across the pit, like Indiana Jones. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And as far as his body and mind, so he is at six out of seven for body. His mind points are two. Ah, I've got to update that. The screen is wrong. Should be six. Okay. And he had three skills. His knight's challenge, which lets him divert the uh, wandering monster to attack him instead of whoever triggered it. Stalwart has been used up, so he doesn't have that anymore. But he does still what have... Is that knight skills? Knight skills, yeah. Shield block. So he's got shield block and knight's challenge. Do you remember the shield block? Nope. Okay. Shield block means if he's adjacent to another hero or ally, let's say, 
and that one gets attacked, he can just wipe out the damage just one time. It's just gone. Okay. Yep. That stalwart's gone. Yep, he used it up. Now, okay. for his stuff, so... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention his armor. Okay, so he has six defend dice. Okay. Because he's wearing plate armor, which does not slow him down at all. Because he's a knight. Oh, actually, uh, the move you didn't give me any movement for the last... Only, oh, only the, the knight. The rogue? The rogue has 2d6. Uh, two, two everybody's, two everybody's 2d6 except for the barbarian, if that helps. Okay. The barbarian's the only one that's slowed down. Okay. Yeah. Maybe what I should do next time is I should create just, yeah, I should just create the character sheets and just, like, send them to everybody. Maybe that'd be Yeah, good. yeah. Could be fine. Yeah. Like a Google. Like yeah, a Google, um, Google Doc. Yeah, Google Doc. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay. Uh, yeah, so he's got plate armor. He's got a spiked shield. Spiked shield, okay. That means that he can't be hugged by a Yeti. He's got a helmet. Now, when he rolls his defend dice, he actually rolls five white and one green. Okay. And his special ability is, if he's attacking the wandering monster of that quest, he gets to substitute one of his dice as a black one instead of white. So in this case, if he's attacking a polar war bear, he gets to put one of his one of his three dice as black. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And as far as his potions go, if you're ready for that. Yeah, ready. Okay. So he's got a healing 1d6. He's got yep. two potions of warmth. Okay. Two two holy waters two uh, potion of magic resistance that negates damage okay he's got the restoration which is one body one mind he's got wolf spain potion wolf spain okay he's got healing plus 4 He's got antidote. Okay. Yep. He's got a potion of air walk. That's the one that lets you levitate over dangerous squares. Okay. Now he's also, oh, I forgot to mention this. Okay. Yeah. He's wearing the ring of warmth. So that protects him from like icy stuff. Not everything icy, okay. but like icy rivers and ice vaults. What about ice spells? Oh, Some ice right. spells. So, like, chill doesn't affect him, and I think... Oh, what's the other one? It's weaker than the one the Barbarian has, because the Barbarian has the armband of ice. Let me see if okay. I can find that here. Because, like, the armband of ice does it all, but the... Okay, so the Ring of Warmth... Gives you immunity to the chill spell. That's the only one. Okay. It's the effects of ice vaults and icy rivers. So yeah, go back for the barbarian. The armband of ice gives you immunity to chill. And immunity to mind freeze. Ice vaults and icy rivers. And if he gets hit by ice storm, he takes one less damage. All right. Yep. I feel like I should be saying it, and there'll be a quiz later. <laughs> It'll be on the test. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Right. Jacer's here. Ah, you you got a break. 
Awesome. All right. Jay, sir, why don't you join us? Welcome. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you were going to show up. So it was poor Richie here was going to be controlling the whole squad. So we can split up now. Yeah. Yeah, and for mercenaries, you actually have a scout and you have a halberdier, and they're both damaged. So they're both down to one body point each. But you can split those two. Okay. So, Jacer, why don't you join us in Discord? Give him a minute to get here. Okay, well, I'm sure he'll probably want the knight. Okay, yeah. But who else would you want besides the barbarian? Uh, Barb Wiss? Yeah, easily Barb Wiss. I think. I think what we've done in the past is we've just, since there's not an equal number of heroes to divide up, we just give one person the mercenaries. So if you want, you could give him the mercenaries and the knight. And take the rogue. Take the rogue? Okay. Uh, Sounds good. I'll take, uh, I'll, I want the whiz and, well, I'll, take, I'll see, see what he says, but I'll take the whiz and the, the barb, and if he takes the mercs, I'll take the rogue. Okay. Was it, what was it? The elf. It, uh, the elf and the knight for him. Yeah, so, well, any any of them one, any of those two he wants. Okay. 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 Sounds good. Okay, I'm not sure if he's. He's coming. Or... Oh, he says Knight, Elf, and Mercs. Okay, that's easy. Knight, Elf, and Mercs. Okay. So he wants the Elf. Does he know everything about them? Yeah. Does he have all the, the sheet? Yeah, he was. He should. He was here last time. So. Okay. Now the turn order that we had last time was Barbarian, Rogue. Oh, that works out, because that's both your guys there. Then Elf. Wizard. And then Knight. And then we could do the Mercs after him. Yeah. I hope we can get him in the voice channel. It's, it's a little harder. I mean, I've done it before where I just uh, kind of figure it out based on what people are typing, but it's a little nicer when we can communicate. Hey. Hey. Welcome, Jacer. Oh. Jacer, can you hear us? You did. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I hear you now. Okay. Um... And you see my screen, right? Yeah. The Discord. I know we had problems last time, but you figured it out, right? Uh, wait a second. Hold on. Let me look. Because I think... Uh, well, and if you need an update on anything, just let me know. I'm just telling Richie all the stuff. Media volume down, call volume up. All right. Is right here. All right. Yes. All right, our connection is excellent. Excellent. All right, let's get Carl Casey at White Bat Audio Music going again. And we should be able to get started. What was the turn order? Uh, so Barbarian, 
rogue, elf, wizard, knight, mercenaries. You can uh, switch the elf one up if, or one back if you want. Put the wizard before him. That way you can just do all three in a row. Yeah, that seems probably oh, better. I see what you're saying. So it means that like, we don't have to swap between us, like, mid-turn. Yeah. Makes sense. You can plan out your, uh, your stuff. So I'll go with Barb Rogue with, like... Rogue. So it begins. All right. This is the Heart of Ice, part six, I believe. <laughs> it's a long one. Okay, so when last we left our heroes, we have the Barbarian right here in this hallway, the bottom there. And we have the Rogue over here next to the door, open doorway. And we've got the Wizard in the red room. And then we've got the elf right here by this other open door. And we've got the knight in the doorway, actually. And we've got the halibut air behind the barbarian with one body point of damage. We've got the scout over here with one body point of damage around the corner. Now in this room are a bunch of monsters. So we've got three orcs in a row next to the fireplace and on the other side we've got a goblin and an orc in the back and then an, a closed door behind them where's the barb sorry uh, the barbarian is right here he is in between the elf and the halberdier um what was the, the dice rolling yeah uh, yeah uh, so script. It? Yeah, it's going to be exclamation point, HQ roll, space, 1d6. And then just add 2 to it. Okay. Yeah. The add 2 thing doesn't work with this um, bot yet, so. Where do I put that? In the, in the Discord chat? Discord so, one. Uh... Yeah, so in the Discord itself, you want to, you'll see a little, like, uh, cartoon chat box text box click on that and it should bring up a little uh, like this stuff that you see here that we're typing sorry it's hard to explain do you, do you know what I'm talking about uh, hello hey Yo, um, so uh, which channel um, do I type that in oh you want to go to Quest Talk, where you, Quest Talk. Where you already are, yeah. But then you'll see yeah. a thing that says Open Chat. It's like a little uh, square, like television box. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Got it. Got uh, it. Okay. I call that the word thought bubble or word balloon. Let's try this. D. Oh, HQ roll. You did high roll. Uh, okay. Yeah. I know that's what you're wanting, but we want you to get a high roll, but <laughs> doesn't yet uh, <laughs> read your wishes. It's like good roll. <laughs> huh. It doesn't accept it if it's edited, so you got to type it again. Yeah, I'll copy paste it instead. Your input pattern uh, is invalid. What? HQ roll. Oh, no, 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 we're rolling for movement. Sorry, sorry, I told you the wrong thing. HQ roll is for combat, so it's just exclamation point roll. Okay. Here. I'm not trying to make you look foolish. I'm, I'm the one. Oh, okay. well, that's... Well, hold I think my roll is bad enough. <laughs> yeah. Well, you add two to it, so you've got three. Okay, so okay. where, where would you like to go? charging in. I was charging in, uh, <laughs> if I can go it. Can I charge again with three movement? Uh, can I get anywhere near those, near that one of those guys in the room? 
One, two, three. Yes, you can. Okay, because so check you, me in there. Because the remember, you, Molly can attack diagonally, so you can nail that goblin if you want to. Um, could you put me um, past the door and one up? Well, yeah. one, two, three. That's as far as you can go. All right. Okay, that that'll do. Uh, and so yeah, I'll I'll smash with uh, Molly. All right. So here's where you use the HQ roll. Two black, space two white. Okay. Make sure you put spaces between the colors and the numbers. You're on Hero Quest fans. Well, it's great when a plan comes together. Uh, so. Oh, you gotta actually spell it out. So it'd be like the number two space, uh, black. Space oh, two, okay. space white. I'll have two to tell. Space. Yeah, I'll have to tell Ribby to uh, put in some abbreviations to make it easier. Yeah, and just editing it won't make it happen, but that's the correct format, yeah. So just type uh -huh. that again. Copy paste it. There we go. Wow. Okay, well. <laughs> Splat. <laughs> Splat. A fine mist settles to the, <laughs> to the dungeon floor. <laughs> Goblin <laughs> gone. <laughs> First blood. The, the the barbarian looks around like, what? Where did he go? <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. so that will end my turn for Bob. <laughs> All right. Rogue. Where is that? Where's so 2d6 okay. for H roll. 2d6. Oh no no no! Just uh, just roll. I'm sorry, not H roll. Okay. There you go. Seven. Okay. Okay. So my you see the rogue. He has. Oh, he can't quite make it. I. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't, can't get in the room either, can he? No. Unless you were to do an uncommon feat, that'd be a 50% chance of some clever maneuvering. That's all right. Uh, just put me behind the white hair thing okay. person. That's the and elf. Uh, the elf. That's Mr. White Hair thing. Do you, Mr. Mr. White Hair thing. <laughs> I'm going to repaint these, but anyway. Is this the is this the new set or the old set you've got? Uh, it's a mixture. So that's a classic figure that someone painted. I just bought it like that, and then you know these are remake figures. Uh, okay, so could I as traps been search, searched for here or something like that? Let's see. Um... Yeah, you have search for traps already. Yeah, let's go search for traps. I have search for traps. What about treasure? Uh, can't search in the well. In the hallway. Well, I'll I'll allow it. You can search if you want. You want to? Yeah, let's go for it. Yep. All right. That's the beauty of homebrew. You can do what you want. Gold. All Search right. and find small so, amounts of gold hidden in several places, but lose track of time. Roll one die, multiply the result by ten, to see how many coins you find. Miss your next turn. What? Okay, that, that's. I'm gonna lose lose my rogues next turn. Yeah, but you will get roll uh, one d six. Yeah. Or not eight roll. roll. I keep telling you eight. Ah, roll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Call for it again. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Just roll. Yeah, it's HQ roll and then roll. Yeah. Fubar Jr. says, no, 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 my father is Mr. White Hair Thingy. <laughs> Good old Fubar. Well, 
What? Oh. Ten. Okay, so you get ten gold. I you, it, my... And it count every single coin. Yes, yeah. And I do not pass go. No, don't collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, and uh, it's now the wizard's turn. Yep. Okay. Let's add ten gold to his sheet. All right. All right. He rolls seven. seven. Can I get on the other side of the the guy in front of the door? This barb's gonna get smashed, I think. Yeah, he can't quite make it. Two, okay. three, four. Sure. Yeah, he can't leapfrog yeah. over everyone. So we're gonna try right. some kind of crowd surfing maneuver. Potions, one to six healing. I think um it's a barb has. How much body left? I think he's got five or four, five or ten. Yeah. Don't want to use a one d six on him. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll use a one d six healing on the barbarian. Well, the problem is he's way over here, though. Yeah, okay, so I can't use it. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, um not in range. Yeah, if you're if you're gonna pass a potion to someone, you can pass it to someone who's square you're touching, that's about it. And a spell has to have clear okay. line of sight and you got a wall. So Alright, okay, so I will pass the turn for that. Alright. Yeah, it's uh kind of a choke point here. Okay. After the wizard Jacer with the elf. The seventh. Mr. White Hair's thingy. <laughs> His new name. That's what they called him in the old country. Grizz it. Something like that. Okay, got a seven? Yep. Um, let's put the elf next to the barbarian. To the right? Have him attack the orc. Yes, to the right of the uh, barbarian and attack the orc to the right. Making sure to put his all of his weight on that square. Okay, he's safe. All right. Okay, yeah, roll your... It's all right, he was leaning on the barbarian. <laughs> all right, so you're rolling your attack? Yes. Um, put this in here. It's still looking at the dust in the floor. Yeah, there's all this uh, mist everywhere. <laughs> Two skulls. All right, York. Oh, that's another kill. Got him. Okay. The night. Night. Six. Okay, slide him to the right of the elf. Okay. We had a lot of traps earlier, so I'm always teasing about uh, putting all your weight on those squares. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. What's he gonna he's do? Gonna he's gonna swing at the orc. Okay. And miss. <laughs> the orc uh, <laughs> has an amused expression on his face. All right. Still pretty ugly though. Amused or not. Okay. Mercenaries. So we got halberdier. And we've got Scout. Where's the Scout? Around the corner from the doorway. Uh, did he search that corridor for tra for traps? Or just have him search while he's there? It's it's searched already, but you want to do it again? Okay. Okay. It's, he finds... It's, 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 everything's still okay. <laughs> everything's still fine? That would be funny, though. Right. Like, 
you see some uh, some goblins with shovels like whoop they run and running away like ah I, I saw you it's like does that look like fresh paint on that one square there I don't know if I trust it move the halberdier all the way to the left okay one two three four in the corner there yep yeah okay That's it. Your turn. Excellent. Now, I know you guys have everything divided up, but if we have any other heroes join in, I mean, there's plenty of room. If anybody else wants yeah, to control yeah. the character. Yes, there's plenty. Plenty for all. Water's fine. Okay. All right. Zargon. That's me. Who should I kill? Let's see. So... My weakest targets aren't in the room. Looks like I just kind of got a deal. All right. I got one for three, you. you and three of us. Two. All right. First orc attacks the barbarian. That goblin owed him five gold pieces. <laughs> and he that seemed like a bar fight. Oh. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> Just, just put the barb in a room and let him go swinging. Yep. All right. Second orc confronts the elf. Two skulls. It's like, did I kill your friend? No, actually, I, I wanted to kill him, and you killed him first. <laughs> elf blocks one. Ching, and I hit one damage. Alright. Uh, I got the elf at two body points. I don't... I didn't uh, check all this yeah. before we started. It was. It was two. Yeah, so Alright, so it's down, down to one then. Yeah. Keep me honest here, guys. Even though I am an <laughs> evil, oh, yeah. evil, evil villain. Evil villain. Just because he's evil doesn't mean he's uh, he's not got some sense of honor. Okay. Oh, or got feelings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If he killed all the heroes, he'd be uh, he'd be sad. It's like, can't you make more? <laughs> Send more. Lonely. Okay. All right. So, uh, and then let's see. I did two. I got one more. Ah, Fubar. With the Guardian Knight rolling all shields, black, white, or a mixture, you think that's akin to readying an action. He looks... He just looks like a dork, like everyone else. Bonus potion. Alright, Fubar. So this is for the elf. Thank you, sir. Potion of healing. Oh, luck, luck sack. I was going to say the elf owes him a beer at the tavern. <laughs> Excellent. So that's a... Plus four healing for the elf. Um, okay, okay. I, have, I have one more orc to do. That is only plus four healing, correct? Yeah, you got a d6 healing and as well. Yep. Okay, and, and two warmth? Yep. Two warmth, yeah. And the restoration, okay. which is one. So, I mean, he has other ways to keep himself alive. Uh, I have the restoration crossed off. I believe that was given to the knight at some point. Oh, was it? Whoops. Yeah, so does that mean uh, the knight, uh, has, knight has one? He does have one. Does that mean the knight has two, or that was the one that he was given? I think that's the one that he was given. Oh, okay, my bad. All right, I'll cross it off. Thank you. Well, no problem. He's got a better one now. That's yes. One. Restoration. You almost want to save for when you need mind points because it's, it's, they're so hard to restore. Okay. All right. Um, my last attack against the knight. Now remember the knight's got to roll one green with that one skull. Ah, bonus monster for Zargon. Thank you, Fubar. Wait, the elf has the other healing potions. 
I'll focus you a beer at the old tavern. Okay. Uh, yeah, he easily deflected that. Ka-ching. Bonus monster. I like that. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Is that a cupboard? Out of the fireplace. Oh, yeah. Down, down the chimney comes the monster. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I need to have one dressed like Santa. Darn it. Okay. But they still can't get to us. It seems. No, not yet. Okay. I know what I'm going to do now. Okay. Gonna roll a die here. Yes. Okay. This is gonna be great. Okay. Uh, so my turn's over for now. <laughs> Boo. Yes. <laughs> All right, barbarian. Back right, to you. Mate, I'm just gonna uh, go clubbing. Come here, or right. whack. <laughs> Like the one adjacent to me, so what's my attack for? Two white, two black. Don't two boo white, the guy with three thousand gold. Well, <laughs> you can try booing him, but he's still got more gold to throw around. That's right. Use your channel points wisely. Entertain us. Wow. Hey. Four skulls. I don't think he can again. Match that. Again, it is the legend. So, is that the orc in front of you that just uh, took that amazing hit? Yep. He, he took it like a champ. Smash. <laughs> he took it like a champ, so. He sure did. Okay. And then I will roll a movement. Another bonus monster. I'm liking this. I'm liking this guy. I roll a three. Well, one. Is it? Three plus two, yeah. So I move five. Yep. Uh, I will. I will move to by beside the fireplace behind that that one one orc, and uh, I will try and get one. It's cold. Yeah. Is that an uncommon feat? <laughs> no, no. I just try to see if the the fireplace is on, man. Yeah. This place is a. Uh, a little chilly with the uh, the uh, muscle shirt on, huh? Yeah, you know, like yeah. Well, you got that cold iron plate. That's not helping at all. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping track of the okay, monsters. Uh, Thank you, Ruby. I will pass to. I, I skip the rogue, yeah, because he loses a turn for. Right. So Wizzy, uh, Izzy, Wizzy, let's get busy. Two D six, yeah. So. Yep. Ten. Ten. So I will. Mr. Wizard, I will. Right here. I'll try and go. I probably go in the middle, middle square next to the one of the orcs. Or go next to the rogue and attack diagonally. Or go next to the knight and attack diagonally. This that way you're safe. Because of the Does fireplace. Next to yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll do that if I can. Um. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. You're going into the room, and I'm I'm not quite following where where you wanted to go. To the next right of the night. The night. Well, yeah. the night the night is right here. Oh well. Let's see. Let me just check something. Is that fireplace really blocking? Yeah, the fireplace That's is blocking square. that square. So, All right, okay. Sorry. Um, so yeah, Which means I will this, then... this square up here is actually open. I put it in the middle. That's my my fault. Okay, so where are you really gonna go? Uh, put me next to the bar, behind the other one. No, oh, not there, not there. Uh, next to the barbarian. Like that. You want to be just right above him? Uh, you're right next to him, yep. And, uh, so, 
combat with a whiz is uh spell or attack better so yeah he can attack diagonally with the staff two black dice but i think he's out of range of any monsters at the moment unless he were to use magic which oh no it was it was not there not that not in that place where the the barb it was behind the orc uh oh, to the behind left the orc. Of the... i misunderstood it's right here or you mean like well here he's not uh, gonna be able to hit anything but behind the orc behind the orc like that yep okay he will, he will wave around his staff <laughs> no no it's see you jimmy uh and i'll roll attack dice for it yeah two black yeah, dice. i guess okay hq roll Ooh, two oh. hits. All right, so you're hitting. I assume you were hitting the one in front of you, right? Yeah. See you, Jimmy. And uh, he's telling that, giving that orc a lesson. You know, like in in my day, <laughs> you know. Yep. A little hickory to the to the skull. Does it every time. All right, got him. Definitely. It's like uh, McFly. Hello. <laughs> Anybody home? Yep. Okay, and I'll pass turn. Alright. Elf. What do you think, Jacer? Uh, have the elf attack diagonally. Okay. Ready? Right. He has a long, yep, long sword. Oh yeah, he has a crossbow. He sure does. All right. Uh, so he'll do long sword right now. Yeah. Yeah. Because once again, we're not we're not obeying Avalon Hill's directive to use the diagonal squares with the crossbow. Yeah. We're still gonna say. He missed. Gotta be out. Oh, yeah. what a shame! But as we know from our homebrew rules, he does get a wrestling move. <laughs> All right. Uh. uh what does the elf do? I don't know what wrestling move an elf has. Alright, he's gonna climb on the, the uh, top of the fireplace and do a flying elbow. Hulk Hogan <laughs> style. <Damn>. Alpha Mania rules! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Never even saw it coming. Boom! Yeah, that's him shots okay excellent yeah that's uh, just kind of our fun little rule there now be warned if the bad guys get three black shields they're gonna get a, a move too so okay all right after uh, the elf the, oh he can still the move he can still move if he, he wants can, to. uh i guess he'll move left one just to hold the door Hodor, okay. Hold the line. Uh, the knight's gonna search for traps. Uh, no, he's stuck in a lot of squares, but. No traps. Alright, um, stick him, uh, one space, or, yeah, two spaces above the elf. I'm sure you would have gotten at least a two. Oh, uh, there's, is there monsters on the board? No, there's no mon. Oh, I see. You're doing the unthreatened movement. Got it. One, two, yeah, three. so that would put him right next to the. Uh, so that way he's next to the wizard, and two spaces above the elf. Two spaces above. There we go. Okay. Um. Put the. Um. How how near next to to the right of the elf and put the scout to the right of the halberdier. Alright, did I do it right? Halberdier is the red yes. one and scout's the gray one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Now it's your turn. All right. Well, since uh, somebody bought me some monsters, I do have uh, some monsters coming. So, a femur leaps out of the fireplace. <laughs> Wild femur attack <sighs> appears. Yep. The barbarian looks around and, you know, huh? looks up from the, the mist, the red mist, and, ooh, she's a big green. <laughs> Shape. They're getting bigger. <laughs> Big green shape. Okay. All right. So let's see. The uh, femur is immediately going to turn to the unfortunate halberdier. Attack him. Two skulls. Ooh. Three skulls. <laughs> if only. <laughs> He He's dead. Down. <laughs> he didn't have a chance. Nope. Hapless. They're hapless. Nope. Machines. They both attacked at the same time, <laughs> and he was supposed to defend. Yep. Okay, but that's not all. There was another monster that came out of the fireplace. A mighty gargoyle. And. It is an elite. It's a really cold, really cold uh, room, I guess. Never yeah. wants the fireplace. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change it. He's not an elite, but he does have a flaming sword. So, how about that? It's got a little bit of extra attack to it. So, he rolls five dice instead of four. Yeah, an elite gargoyle is a little much at this point. Okay, uh, so he's going to... Turn to the unfortunate scout. <laughs> Two skulls. Two shields. Ching. The lucky scout. He does have a shield. Yeah. Did a lot better than the uh, halberdier's chain. <laughs> if the gargoyle's face wasn't made of carved from stone, you would see a look of surprise on its visage. <laughs> okay. I think the scout was surprised, too. I did it, guys. I, I got one. I held the shield up high. Great kid. Don't get cocky. Okay. All right. Back to the barbarian. All right. I see this. Uh, I was looking at the green thing, and now this blue thing appears. I think I'm going to swing at the blue thing. Uh, trusty, trusty Molly. The yeah. If you move, uh... murderous. I oh, know you're you're in range. You can hit diagonal, or no, you're right on top of him. Aren't I'm you? right next to him. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of got your choice of target, but I'm going for the big blue meanie. Big blue meanie. Four more. Nice attack. Wow. Four. Okay. Trying to leave a hole in the ground where his head used to be. <laughs> oh! Crushed him. <laughs> the, yeah. the pieces crumble. Some of them land in the fireplace. Okay. Wow. He one-shotted a gargoyle, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What uh, Molly, Molly the murderess is strikes again. Yeah, another notch. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a healing plus four potion. Okay. For the bomb. Alright. So, so I go to nine. Got it. And use that potion. That's my actions for the barbarian. Yeah. Meanwhile, I the see. rogue is like, what's going on? You know, he's been stuck there with his 10 gold. And he's been missing out the whole time. <laughs> even He's not even on the screen. He's not got any screen time, so he's got to take some. Okay, I'm missing some of the comments here. Uh, Fubar says, are we all about to line dance? Ribby says, heroic feet, stab him in his one eye. Blind him. 
Fubar says, it's like the closing segment of Soul Train. Show some dance moves. Remember. <laughs> the Goyle <laughs> was still gooey from being in the fireplace. Didn't have time to cool and harden. Well, you know, that's the thing. It's the problem. Very cool too fast and shattered. Yep. It's brittle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a cold... It might, it might have just been, like, rusty, you know, a rusty gargoyle. That's true. Uh, you know? Yeah, because yeah, some of them are made of metal, and they get the uh, uh, weather damage. Yeah. Oh, the rogue can get it four. Oh, we got 11. Nice. 11? So you can definitely get in there. Yeah, so chuck me below the barbarian with the rogue. And then I will go for go swinging with um I think a double attack with my dagger, yeah. Okay. So you have a long you have a long sword too. Mm -hmm. And you'd actually roll four dice with the long sword because he's adjacent to the wizard. Oh okay. well and then the dagger would be two and one, so it'd be three. And longsword would be four. Good point. Okay, that's it's your choice. Yeah, yes. I want to go for the little little guy below me um, with the with the longsword, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's just a uh, normal. What do you call the dice for him? Oh, just normal yeah. dice. Yeah. Yeah, just white dice. So you want to do four. Three skulls. Wow. Ooh. That'd be a kill if he doesn't get a. Three black shields. Oh, that's a kill. Oh, I stabbed him right in the eye. Bring these, bring these extra monsters on. We need the, the glory or something. <laughs> All right. Made short work of them. That's for sure. These guys are just like trying to keep warm and we're just yep. massacring them. <laughs> Yep, as you do. Okay. After the rogue. Uh, uh wizard. Wiz. So the wizard. Can I shoot that guy from here? Like attack him with my staff, or am I gonna have to walk oh, up to him? No, no, no. This this guy's on your side. This is the. Uh, all the monsters are dead. Oh, okay. I thought the the guy with the black tile was. Oh no was no no. Monster. No, I I use that for the mercenaries as well. That's just kind of a thing I do. So the uh, so the wizard was having a flashback, and they all had to kind of like restrain him. Like, listen, it's gonna be all right. Yeah. Come here. Battle, battle's past. <laughs> I shouldn't joke about that, but got some uh, friends with PTSD. But you know, happens to the best of them. For sure. Seven again. Okay, so right. I'm gonna roll a d6, I guess two d6. But I'm I'm a friend that really want to go through the door. <laughs> I mean, um, the room is clear. You okay. can search it for stuff if you want. If you're feeling yeah. brave. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll search first. Alright, what are you searching for? Treasure. Treasure. Thought so. I had to ask. Poison! Seven. Oh, you what? discovered a brown flask filled with liquid. Your throat constricts as you taste it. You realize you swallowed poison. Well, one combat die. Skull means you lose one mind point. Okay. Uh. Ooh, lost a mind point. Now you're down to five. Five mind points, mind you. Mind you. Yeah, it doesn't really matter it's in, unless you get down to zero. Then you go into shock at this point. Okay, you can still move, though, if you want. Yeah. Nah, I'll, I'll be all right. I'll pass turn. <laughs> that card literally just described alcohol. <laughs> yeah, they were they're trying to send a message to the kids. Yeah. Well, see, I, I was printing out another card. I was thinking, like, well, it... It shouldn't be like that should work one time, 
what it really should be is like, you know, it's sprays you in the face of the venom or something, and you're like, ah, you know, or the, the vial breaks and the gas gets you, or I don't know, something. Not just, oh, I drink everything else. Look, look, look. <laughs> Poison. Okay. All right, so, Jacer with the elf. Um, search for secret doors. Secret doors, let's see. No secret doors. All right, uh, move in one to the right and three north. Okay, so he's diagonal from the door, from the new yep. door. And um, move the scout uh, three spaces north. Okay, your one remaining henchman. All right, I have nothing to do, so I get to draw one of my cards. And no, I'm not going to show you what it is unless I actually play it. Okay, that's not going to work. All right. That's okay. All right, your turn, Barbarian. Mighty Barbarian. Hey, looks around. No beer, no drink, nothing to drink. So, okay, I'll, I'll roll a d6 and see where we go from there. Yeah. Or, I mean, you can do your full movement since there's no monsters if you want. It's up to you. Rolling is fun. Got a five. All oh, right. Okay. So seven. Yeah. So seven. Oh, okay. Charge and run into the room next door. Through the door. And see, you know, where the party's at. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm warm again. His blood's on fire. I've had enough. Oh, uh, yeah, I can get through. Second. Yeah, just bring me two north in the next room. Okay. Now I want to warn you before you set foot in that room. There's something about it. Okay, I'm just get. Yeah, just go. I'm a barbarian. <laughs> what, what's gonna happen? What's the, the worst, worst that could happen? happen? Jinx, double jinx. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Broke that hex. Okay. Let's see here. Yarge. Okay. This is what you see. Oh, no. Not that you'd be afraid of such a thing. Let me describe it to you. Living fog. This room is filled with an eerie, swirling fog. Monsters seem to appear on all sides of the heroes, only to disappear into the fog when attacked. Let's step into the room. And you see a door on the other side, and you also see a number of monsters. Let's see a mighty Femir. And another Femir. And you also see a Yeti. The Yeti! And a polar war bear. So you wanted a so party, you've got one. Two moves? Is it one move or two move left? Left, I've got. So one, two, three, four. Uh, you got one more square left. Yeah, let's go to the right and I'll see. Oh. Oh no no no. Yeah. Seven. You've got uh, three left. Sorry. Uh, let's just go one to the right and. I'll swing for the big blue meaning again. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. <laughs> now, let me just see what it says about living fog. Few things are as they appear in the living fog room. Monsters and fog lights likenesses of monsters are all over this room. Whenever a hero attacks a monster, the hero first rolls a combat die to see if he attacks a fog likeness instead of a real monster. Okay. So, we'll save your attack there, and then we'll have you roll one combat die. Oh, 
Okay. Now, if it had been a black shield or a skull, you would have been confused and attacked the fog and wasting your attack. This is you got a white shield, you see the real monster. Okay. Okay. All right. So you got two skulls. Fine hit. He rolls three. Ooh, no defense. Oh, so he takes two damage. We've got four left. Tough. Typical barbarian. Ah, real monster. Die, 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 says Fuvar. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, rogue. Uh, yeah. Okay. Back to rolling for movement. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Okay. I want to take him next to the barbarian, like so that I can hit with the long sword on this this blue guy. Okay. Right. Roll your one first. Oh, yeah. See if you get a white shield. Yep. Okay, go ahead and roll your normal attack. You attacking with the long sword or before? Yep. Okay, two skulls. Excellent. Can't fool these guys. Dang. All right. We see you through the mist. It's like I see you. Yeah. It's like Ar Aragorn picking up the Palantir. It's like I see you. Okay. Last turn. I can't do anything else now, can I? Um. Well, you get the wizard. Yeah, it gets a wizard. Yeah. Yeah. It's me moved then. Okay, we're seven. Get the seven. The yeah, I can get in. Can I shoot him from the doorway? Behind, behind, on this side? Mm, no. No. Unless okay. we're a non-common so, feed and would we'll say you might accidentally hit one of your own guys there. Okay, I see. What was it? Uh, just bring me to the right of the bar. One, two, three, four, five. Right of the bar. Okay. Then I will. Attack this this guy. The same guy as they've been attacking oh. till now. So I'll do your attack. HQ roll. Yep. One. So roll your one. Ooh. Oh. No. He can't see. You see, uh, you yeah. think that he would be the least susceptible to this, but he saw them all doing it and he just. He took a wide swing and just whiff. Yeah. Nothing but missed. Okay. My whole pass turn. Okay. Chaser with that. the elf. Gets a seven. Um, I guess above the... Space is above the rogue, and it'll attack diagonally the same polar war bear. Four. All right. So roll your one. See if you hit the fog or the monster. Okay. You can, you can hit. 
<clears throat> One. Okay. It's a hit. Let's see. You see, just have one left. Two, three, four. Five. All right, the knight got an eight. He's gonna move to three spaces north. One and two, also one, two. also attack the polar war bear. It's getting crowded. Clear some space. Ooh. He missed. Me. He swings wide, catching nothing but air. Um, the, Scout. the scout's gonna run in there and stand next to the wizard. in the room now can you use a uh, an uncommon feat to try to gain defense by not attacking interesting so somehow he would like just fortify himself <laughs> yeah. for his next defense if he's attacked yeah okay. at least then I'll be equal to the wizard and not be the low guy okay go ahead and Go ahead and roll your combat die if it's a skull. Then the next time he defends, he'll defend with one extra. Is that too many? Yeah, just re-roll. Yep. Oh. Hedging your bets. Having trouble. Oh, oh missed. Oh, he missed. <laughs> so, yeah, he just kind of shuffled his shield around and his armor, but he still just got what he's got. Sorry. Okay. He doesn't know any better. He thinks he's better. He's got his shield up high again. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready, guys. All right, your turn then. All right. <clears throat> Surrounded. Well. Let's just eliminate the, the weak link. So first, the uh, Fimmer is going to attack the scout. It's one skull. Okay. So he got no defense, so he's dead. He only had one left. Sorry. He tried. He tried. What was left of his shield didn't really mm -hmm. hold up. The shield clatters uselessly to the floor. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's say this uh, this femur over here is going to attack the elf. Three skulls. Oh. Big swing. Uh, five oh. skulls. <laughs> what is this? That's three damage. All right, so he is a mercenary. Dead. He is using a, he's using his 1d6. Okay, 1d6 healing. Oh, Fubar just, yeah, 
three mercenaries. Three of them. Okay, so you get the elf gets four back. That one d six is used up. Up to four. More fodder for the cannon. Give one to each, or one to the next three heroes. The next three heroes. Give one to the next three heroes. Oh, after the elf. Okay. Okay, so uh, any preferences, Fubar, or they just get any mercenary they want? Let them pick. Okay. Well, you guys uh, go ahead and pick then. What do you want your three mercenaries to be? You got swordsmen, you got uh, halberdiers, crossbowmen, scouts. Um, one of each, maybe? Okay. One of each. I know I do. We don't really need them yet, but. We'll go ahead and uh, let's see. We'll say they all just kind of file in out of the fireplace. So there's your halberd there. Scout. Swordsman. We'll put him here for fairness sake. Crossbowman. Thanks, Fubar. All right, so we got some more mercenaries. Okay, so I'm still in the middle of attacking. So two of my Fimmers did their thing and let's see let's do the um the yeti he's gonna charge forward and attack the wizard it was three uh my series positive okay he's gonna attack my wizard oh only three oh you said one of each i was confused okay yeah, so which sorry. which type do you not want i guess that's how we'll do it should we get rid of Ooh. the Crossbowman. Scout. Get rid of the scout. scout. The weak one. Drop the scout. Okay. Put the crossbowman here instead then. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Yeti moves forward to attack the wizard. One skull. Uh, defense. Is four for wizard. Yeah. Three white, one green. Okay. Cha ching Okay, so successfully deflected that. See, the rogue is out of my range for the get back yay war, war bear. could attack the knight and the barbarian or I could just pile all my attacks on one of them the knight's pretty weakened let's see but he's a tough nut to crack because he's got six defend dice barbarian's Next five six body as well yeah um, let's just pile it all on the knight. Okay, so he makes one big attack instead of two smaller attacks. Okay, so three skulls, knight. Sure. Knight laughs in the face of danger. <laughs> Fuck. 
watching. Oh, two of them. Yeah, I took one damage. All right, so down to four. Did I first forget to subtract? Uh. Yeah, he had he started with six today, yeah, and then went down to five, and just went down to four. Or no, he went down to five. He was at five at the end of the last session. Oh, so I was wrong oh, okay. the whole time. Why did I? Oh, I must not have written it down. Okay, this is why we have you guys check. Okay, so it was actually five. Now he's down to four. Yeah. Okay. And uh. Yep, that's what I got. And I got, I used Stalwart already too, so I only have two skills left. Right. Nice challenge shield block. Okay. Um, as far as my monsters, that's all I can do, so, Barbarian. Okay, Barbarian. Okay, um, can't move through people, can I? You can move through other heroes. Uh, just move me. To pass the wizard, uh, so I'm um, one past the wizard. I've got two moves anyway, so minimum. So minimum, I should have yeah. three. So put me there, and I'll smack the green. Uh, can I smack diagonally as well? Yeah. Yep. I'll just smack at the the where the the bear. Well, actually, be the yeti, but. Sorry, yeti. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I forget the time of year. <laughs> um, okay, so I will do my dice rolls. So. Alright, two black, two white. Fine hit. hit. Ching, and a hit. Oh, oh, stop, actually. You don't have to. Oh, you're, you're special. Make a yeah, roll. the. Yeah, I forgot about the fog. <laughs> the fog dissipated, guys. It's gone. No, it's back. Mm -hmm. See if it actually counted. Okay, if I actually needed to defend. No, it didn't. Oh, uh, so it wouldn't have worked. Okay. All right. Molly, you let us down. <laughs> okay, so pass to the rogue. Save the last dance for her. Okay. Yep, it's the rogue. Yeah, the monsters don't have to worry about the fog, but you guys do. Okay, so seven for movement. I move. Can I move behind the Yeti? Um. Yes, you. You can. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay. Well, <laughs> or you could even just move through him. Yeah. I, I didn't know I could move through uh, enemies or not. Yeah, the rogue so, can move through monsters. Anytime. Uh, so go behind the Yeti anyway. I want that. I want that, and then I want to want to try and. Attack. He does his daggers on different targets. Does he have to roll the one die for each attack? Yes. Okay. You can do different. Okay, so so yeah, I will. I'll do the double attack on well, first attack. We'll go for the, the big guy. Okay, but I just want to say one thing it. first. Um, the unblockable attack only works if he's hitting the same target. So if he throws a dagger at one monster and it throws a dagger at another, they both get to defend. But it would actually be a two dice attack since both those monsters are next to heroes. So it'd be like two and two. If I if I miss like the first attack with the uh, you know the mist thing, my second attack I oh. still roll the same. So. Hmm, that's interesting. Interesting thought. Yeah. Um, I guess I'd have to rule on that. Let's see. I yeah, that's why I asked that question. Oh yeah, if he's I, I get attacking it now. two get different it. monsters. The, the, the you know what I mean? Yeah. I guess it'd be for each attack. Yes, yeah, so you would have to roll each time. Okay. So I missed with the first one. I missed that. Okay, roll the second. See if the second one. Is 
the white shield. shield. Okay, so the Yeti. Go ahead, roll your one against him. Or two, sorry, two. This is uh, this is unblockable or not? It's blockable. Okay. Get one skull. Yeah, it gets a little confusing because the skills are like always active, but after a while, get used to it. Oh, no defense. You got a hit in. Got four left. Mm -hmm. Alright, wizard. Okay. <laughs> I will try and attack the the really big guy. Polar oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, you okay. can. So roll your okay, one. So... Okay. Then I'll roll 2d6 and run away. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't success. All right. Mr. X says good luck on the adventure. Cheers, Mr. X. Good old Mr. X. All right, so you rolled eight, so where are you going? Uh, just put me outside the door, on the other side of the door. Uh, actually, could you put me... I can't walk through anyone. Uh, just back in the room before, like, uh, the first step. Four, five, six, seven. Get back here. Yep, that's right. All right. Uh, uh, pass through. Up, 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 up. Okay. Chaser. Tax the mist. Um, I guess move the elf uh, two spaces south. Okay, so you weren't able to. to... Swing it around in the mist. Can we the pull the monsters out of the mist and then have to do that? <laughs> oh yeah, draw them, draw them out. Yeah, that's an idea. Back into the war room. That's, yep. a, that's not a bad idea. All right. Um, let's see, night. Also swings. Uh. He's just gonna. Oh man, what does he do? He's gonna move to the other side of the elf. Where's the swordsman at? Right here, me lord. He's in the uh, dark red ring. Thanks to Ribby for 3D printing those for me. Pretty sweet idea. Yeah, they're cool. I'll move him uh, in that room on the other side of the elf. That'll take him his full movement of five. One, two, three, four, five. And let's have him swing. See if he hits the mist. See if mist is his favorite computer game too. Yep. It certainly is. All right. Oh. Uh, can the halberdier get between the um, knight and barbarian? Doesn't quite have enough movement because he's only got six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Unless it was an uncommon feat. Crowd surf. <laughs> and, all right, then just use the... 
the crossbowman then and move him in at pack at the Yeti. Okay. So he's stacking with the cross or with the broadsword? Close yes. Alright, see if he hits the mist. He hit the mist. He oh. missed because of the mist. <laughs> Fire that guy. Okay. Um, I guess put the halberdier in the doorway. Four. Your turn. All right. Ah, okay. So the first femur is going to attack the rogue. One skull. Rogue defends with three. Richie, are you are you still there? I'm there, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, um, rogue defends with three. Yeah. Yeah. Just got one skull against you. Ooh, that's a hit. Okay, so Rogue is dead, unless he's got something to save himself here. Uh, what, like healing potion or something? I've got a 1d6. Yeah, okay. Go ahead, roll your 1d6. Six. Oh, but his maximum is five. So. Five, yeah. Still, can't get any better than that. Okay, pretty good. All right. <laughs> the problem is, though, I can double up on him. All right, so I move the other femur into the range. He attacks. Mm -hmm. Two skulls. Rogue. Five and two. One sec. My defense is three. Yep. HQ roll. Watching one. and one hit. One hit, so to four. Seems to be a good strategy, so Yeti is going to attack the rogue as well. Okay. Because I'm evil. Two skulls, rogue. Yeah. Ching, another hit. What does Faint do? Faint? Yeah. That allows you to re-roll one set of dice. Attack, defense, or movement. So I guess he's suggesting you re-roll one of those, but, I mean, he might... It's up to him. The hug's deadly, but there are other people if we can hit him. Oh, you're saying that mm -hmm. r just try it to see if he takes no damage? Uh, it, are you? Is it a regular attack or is it a hug attack? Well, since he took damage, he would go into the hug. Yeah. It's up to him, but I think that's not a bad skill. 
But it's, uh, yeah, I can, it's just one use, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But you get to re-roll re -roll all your defense dice. I mean, but if I get nothing, I mean, like, blocking one is enough for me, I think. Okay. All right. If I if I re-roll them and get none, that's true. No. You got to take the second. Oh, well, yeah, then you're still gonna be in a hug, either way. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see here. Oh, I gotta update the screen here. Okay. So you're in a hug. So go ahead and let's see, roll your three white dice. Didn't know what, what so any going. white shields you can get are good. Okay, you got one, one white, white shield, shield, so that means no damage this round. So you're trapped in the hug. He's got you in a crushing bear hug, but you're able to resist him just enough that you don't take any damage. Now to get out of it, mm -hmm. the next time you're going to have to roll two or three white shields, or mm -hmm. someone's going to have to kill the monster. Yeah. Get him off you. All right. Which monster is that? The one behind, on the left or the right? Uh, the one on the right. Okay. So just imagine those cookie monster arms wrapped around you. Oh. In an icy embrace. Yay. Okay. Uh, Polar War Bear is next. And it's really tempting to unleash all of his fury against the swordsman that had the impudence to get in his face like that. Okay, so I'm going to attack the swordsman with both my attacks. So five skulls and a wrestling move. I don't think he's going to survive this. So we five defense. What the heck? Oh, wrestling move back. He gets a wrestling move back. So okay, for five. So he's going to die, but he gets a chance to do. Okay, so what's your wrestling move you're going to do on me right before you get killed? All right. Make it a good one. All right. First off, he picks him up. <laughs> and he's body slamming them. And as he gets them all the way up, his knees buckle. So as he goes down, he puts it, he just pushes his sword down. So him and the polar war bear land on the sword. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so painful. But at least, that's, at least he's dead. Because yeah. <laughs> we yeah, couldn't finally. swing at him. He's had one body point for a whole turn. Nobody can finish him off, but the swordsman did. Like, Thank you, swordsman. <laughs> Thank you, swordsman. <laughs> As he shuffles off the mortal coil. Yeah. All right. And let's see. That was the that was the final hit for the polar war bear. Uh, after all those tiles. I thought for sure it was going to be a clean kill. And it was, just for both of them. Okay. All right, um, that's that's it for monsters. So, Barbarian, clean up the mess. Okay. Uh, I will move towards the green guy. Uh, which one's... Oh, no, no, attack the Yeti. The Yeti's the yeah, one that's hugging the rogue. Him. All right, so... Texie says, oh, eck, not that room. <laughs> I'll... Yeah, I'll... I'll attack the Yeti. So let's swing. Let's All see right. if I hit. Yeah. You're one first. The Living Fog. No! It's a miss. Search for traps after that. No, no. Yeah, search for traps. <laughs> no, that's, that's your action, I'm afraid. So, okay, okay. So next to... The, two... the, the, uh, the crossbowman is like, watch where you're swinging that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just like swinging at the mist. <laughs> yeah. Rogue can't do anything because he's in a hug, or can he do something? He can try to try resist to break it. The hug. Yeah, roll your three white dice.
Okay, one shield, so he's still resisting the damage. He's not taking any damage. Okay, so that goes to wizard now. Alright. He's having a nice cup of tea out here. How's it going? <laughs> I'll attack. I'll attack this bloody yeti. Oh, okay. So you're gonna have to move into the room. Oh yeah. Fifty-six. Because remember he retreated. Nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he can make it. Let him yeah, charge in. in the room. Yep. All right. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. Uh, what's water asleep actually? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. If you uh, you, you sleep on him, he gets a chance to try to break out of it. Okay. Can I use a uh, wizard like potion to cast two times? Yeah. Interesting. So you want to use the potion wizardry to do <laughs> sleep twice, like he? Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Uh. Well, what's what's Ball of Fame do? Uh, that would be, that be better. two body points of damage, unless he can resist them. You can okay. blast him twice. So, yeah, I'll do that. All right. And let's say, well, let's see. Yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't necessarily kill him. So okay. All right. So you're. You, Chug the potion of wizardry, and you unleash fire upon him. Flame. Okay, so I've got to try to resist the damage for the first one. Any five or six? Okay, I rolled two fours, so that's two hits. Immediately. And it hits him again. So... I roll 2d6, 2 and a 5. Okay, so I resisted 1, So, but I still took 3. So he's taken 4 damage. He's only got 1 left now. Toasty! Okay. Uh, pass turn. Not bad. Does he let go of the rogue? Like, or he's is not he just dead. still in this embrace? Yeah, he's not dead, so... He's still, I he's got still hit. on. I got hit by a fireball twice. I might let go of the rogue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's that tenacious, I guess. Yeah, he's just... He, uh... he, he tried to put the rogue in the way, but he couldn't quite get him <laughs> maneuvered o over there. Yeah. Okay. Jacer? Elf 6. Elf got uh... picked up. Three to the right and one to the north. And attack the Yeti. Alright. Let's see what you got. First you gotta yeah. see if you missed. Wing of the mist. Oh you missed. Alright. Uh and the knight actually swings. True. Yep. Found. He just had to. Uh, he just had to aim towards the uh, smoking, <laughs> smoking uh, bonfire in the middle. Okay, one skull. Aim, yeah, aim for the middle one. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna use Fortune's longsword and re-roll the black shield. Okay. Fortune's longsword. Once in a quest. Roll one, one, one die. So it's Ooh, actually two nice. skulls. Okay. And so I defend with one less. I only defend with two. Oh, nothing. That ends him, right? That ended him. All right. Excellent. All right. The rogue is free. Yep. Yay. So all that matted, burned fur. You're just kind of like brushing it off yourself. Uh, cross for a man. He's going to fire. Okay. Who's he going to fire at? Nobody. The mist. All right. 
The rogue is like, "Wait, <laughs> who are you shooting at? Check your fire." All right, the um, whizzing over your head. The halberdier is going to move north two spaces to be next to the wizard, and he's going to try to hit the famir. Fair mirror over here. Right. Okay. So, for one. That's a hit. Excellent. It's your turn. Yeah, this room is pretty epic. Okay. Wizards a week. All right, let's go for the wizard. Bimmer attacks the wizard. Two skulls, Four wizard. Different. Okay, so you roll three white and one green. At least you stop picking on the rogue. <laughs> yeah. Well, just one and a hit. Oh, no one, one body. So I need to use a potion. Yes, I have one d6 of healing. I'll use that. So let's go with three. three. Okay, back with three. Well, yeah. four is your maximum, so it's not not too shabby. And I can't reach you with the other monster, so you're in luck this time. I wasn't worried. <laughs> yeah. See. A double fireball, your mate, so. Yeah, you're next. <laughs> yeah. Toasty! <laughs> like you said. Yep. Classic. Well, I don't want to be too predictable, so I'll go after the elf this time. The other Femir. Two skulls, elf. Block one. And a hit. Uh, elf. Down to three. Yep, down to three. All right, that's it for monsters. Okay, barbarian is gonna move to. What is this? The uh, uh, this is like the the circle at the dance hall, the, the chicken dance. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Chasing each other around. Yeah. I'm gonna move to to the middle there. Yeah, the middle of the dance hall. You know, it's his time in the spotlight. Yep. So, I attack the guy above the elf, the Vermeer. Okay. So I'm gonna check if I get a hit off or not. Fubar said, "Ah, success." Yeah. You put your great sword in. You put your great sword out. <laughs> put your great sword in, and you shake it all about. Do the whole Tokyo and turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Two skulls. Yep. Let's see if I get any defense. Ching and a hit. Yep. Half dead. The elf just did a busted a cool move right there. Okay, uh, Texi says, I recently played the Mage of the Mirror, and one thing that's great about that is that anyone who also has the Frozen Horror is permitted to hire the mercenaries from the latter. Well, once you're past the three elf only quests. Ubar says, Mercs are fun until they turn on you. It's true. <laughs> it's not wrong. Okay, to the rogue. Uh, let's, let's go stab him. The guy that I just stabbed with this guy. 
okay. uh, with, the, with the barbarian. So I'm going to roll. You can actually try to hit both of them. Yeah. How much uh, life points has the the one on the right got? They're both wounded. Yeah, they both only have yes. one left. So okay, yeah, let's go for the first roll. See if I hit. Nope. I miss. And, uh, this one will be for the right one. Suspense. Ah! The hit. Okay, so roll your two dice. That's for one the right hit. one. Yep, to the right. To the right, to the right. <laughs> every... Every knife in your... Okay, you barely blocked it. Ah, pretty masterful though. It's like whiff, ching. Wizard. All right, so wizard. You can have the rogue. You can have the rogue move. If he can get uh, like three spaces, he won't be attacked. Two places of safety. One, two, one, two, three, four. He'd have to move four. Or one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. If you were. Oh, you mean one, two, three. Yeah, oh, you're right. You're right. I was looking at. Yeah, okay. That's true. He could. That's true. He can even go in the other corner under the elf. Move me. Leia, let's move me towards the elf. The corner on the elf. Two. Nobody puts the rogue in the corner. <laughs> but. Like uh, dirty fighting, instead of dirty dancing. Yeah. Right. yeah. Dirty dance fighting. Okay. okay. Uh, Wiz is uh, he's coming about, so he's like, okay, I'll hit the guy next to him. Where, where is my attack? Attack two black dice, is it? Yeah, but first, yeah. see if you uh, can actually hit him in the mist. Swirling mist. Oh, no, I'm afraid not. Okay, so I'll just move to the door. Like, in front, one, in front, one in front of the door. Okay, I'm sure you got at least two. One, two. Oh, I don't want to, yeah, I want to be there with my mates tonight. I don't want to look like I'm chicken it out. <laughs> yep. Doing the chicken dance. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Put, your, put your left whiz in. <laughs> Shake it all about. Pokey pokey. And pass the turn. Okay. Jason. Elf has two potions of magical resistance. If I drink one of them, can I avoid this mist effect for the turn? Interesting. Interesting. Let me uh, let me just take a quick look here. Wait a minute. Are you sure he has that? Because I don't. I see his magical aptitude. The elf. Yeah. I, don't see I have. I have him with uh, warmth. Defense, air walk, magical aptitude, holy water, um, recall, shellac and mortar, vision, magical resistance, what? What? Uh, recall, and the heal plus four. Where did that magical resistance come from? So, okay, let me just see. Because in the party, a lot of people have it. But how did the elf get it? Because, let's see, the the rogue has one for damage. The wizard has one for everything. The barbarian has one for everything. The elf is like the only one who doesn't have any. Do you recall when you got it? No, that's the, that's what I said. That's what I've written down for him. And I have magical resistance, and it's the effect one, not the damage one. 
but how about this? If he used it, if, if he used it already, he used it already. Okay. I actually have him written down for two for some reason. See, that doesn't sound right at all. Okay, all right. Well, I'm just gonna. I'll get. Gonna, I'll get rid of that one then. You know what? I'll give you a chance. Go ahead and uh, he's rummaging around in his box looking for stuff. And go ahead, roll your one. If it's a skull, then you've got it. And then I'll let you roll again to see if it actually works. How about that? Let's see. Dirty fighting. Is this the quest to take revenge in the awful? I'm not going to say that on the stream, but yeah. Yeah, if you've ever seen Dirty Dancing, you know what he's talking about. Totally forgot about that. It took me a while, me a while to click on that one. I was like, oh yeah. Okay, sorry, Jay, sir. Didn't you? You didn't find it in your pack, after all. Ribby says maybe we need a little stat inventory tracking app. See, that would be sweet. That would be really sweet, actually. Mm -hmm. And Ribby, you're the code master, so maybe not to put any more projects on you, but if you feel so inclined. Cause yeah, I, I just kind of tell everybody at the start, but it's true. I didn't go over Jacers because I thought, oh, he's got everything. Okay, figure something out. Thanks, Ruby. Yeah. Well, Darkhawk's suggestion was that yeah, we would have like a, a virtual character sheet for each person, but the problem is having to fill that in every time, like all that stuff, and then where's it going to fit on the screen and all that. But then yeah, the Google Doc idea was floated. That was uh, Richie's idea too, so maybe. But you can even stick it in on a thread, on a, a on a different thread. channel. Yeah, in the you Discord. You could pin it. You could pin it in the Discord. Yeah. Good point. Okay, let's do that at the end of this one, if you guys think of it. Okay, or I can do it afterwards. Whatever. Okay. Let's move the uh, night. Uh, North one, have him attack. Okay. And also missed. Yeah, so it would have been a great use of that uh, thing. Okay. Uh, uh, Halberdier missed. Crossbowman. Uh, he's gonna stay behind the shield wall. Ruby says, "Try the dock first, and if you can still think we should design a little app, we can do that." Yeah, I haven't used Google Docs in a long, long time, but sounds like it would be it'd work. Or the thread. Some people don't like to share their info. Yeah. Okay. Well, the thread would even be good at the end of uh, all the quests or whatever, or the, to just put them there, and then you could just copy it and paste it later if you needed to use it for the next one. Or you can just edit, edit it or whatever at the end of each quest, or you know, but it's easy. That's true, yeah. It would be. And everyone can look you at can it. You can just copy and paste it to your own word or whatever and print it out if you want to print out or just have it put in your own documents. Yeah, all good ideas. Okay, so where where are we for... Is the crossbowman going to do anything? Or I forgot if you... Yeah, he's going to stay right. behind the shield wall with the uh, rogue and the wizard. Okay. All right, so my turn? Yep. All right. Yeah, it's quite a protective wall now. So, Femur is going to go over here and attack the Halberdier. One skull. Very dramatic. Ooh. Take the hit. Oop, there went the door. Me being clumsy there. Okay. Um, then the other Femir. Mm. My 
Great Barbarian or Elf. I guess the Elf's the softest target. I'll go for him. Soft? One skull. Or you get Kurgan an assistant to manage that Wally host. Same if it's a pin in Discord. Oh. The only one to edit, but the rest could view. That way it's managed by only one person. Multiple players can refer to. Oh, yeah, it totally blocked it. Ka ching well, I was thinking like one of the one of the um, quest packs, it's like all of a sudden mentor has all these like seers that are like helping him out. It's like well, is he just getting old? He can't remember it all. <laughs> It's like Kurgan, it's getting a little, a little soft in the head. After a while, it does take uh, it does take a lot to keep track of everything, which is true. If you're we were sitting around the game board live, you know, in the same room, we wouldn't have this issue because we'd all just have it. But we can do the next best thing. Okay, all right, that's my turn. Barbarian. Okay. Uh... Gonna move next. Um, I can hit the green guy there for me, yep. all right? Yep. Okay, let's, let's go swinging. All right, roll your one. Hey, a strange bus is here. Welcome, sir. No, I miss. Okay, last turn to rogue. They're in the living fog room. You're not too late, actually. So we've got Rich Boy, rogue. and we've got mm -hmm. Jay, sir, and Strange Bus. We've got an hour left. Malakadon X says hello, everyone. Welcome to Hero Quest. I'll move the, the rogue two next to the the fear of mirror, like uh, one above the barbarian. Okay. And I get four dice, yeah, for attack because I'm not yes. too an ally. So let's see if I do you, the. You could still try to split your attacks by throwing the one dagger. Yeah, okay. I'll do a double attack then. Oh, do a double attack on him? Yeah. Okay, so you missed with the first one. I didn't write anything. Oh, did it? That was... Yeah, so Strange Bus wants to take control of a hero. I oh, missed the second one. <laughs> the daggers are flying everywhere. Everybody's are ducking. you sure that's not, that's not for my Barbarian? It's first attack. Actually. Oh no, you may you're right, you're right. My bad. Okay, so he missed one, he gets one more. Oh, he missed that I one missed too. Two. Yeah, okay. So uh, with with time. Okay. Uh, this... Yeah, after with this time. round let's see uh, what we can get Strange Bus in on. Okay, so I'll move what, the wiz... what hero does he want? Yeah, what the hero does he want? I'll move the wish next to the the rogue. Yeah. Okay. In between the rogue and the Fenrir and then attack. Three. Alright. Uh two two black dice here. So I'll see if I can do that. His Q roll. I hit. Ah. Okay, so two black. One skull. Okay. Familiar defends. No defense. <laughs> Got him. Yes. Okay, Jay, sir. Okay. He can have Blubber if he wants. Um. Strangeth bus. Barbarian is back. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, so so he's gonna get the barbarian? Yeah, I wanna. Alright. Strange bus, join us in the Discord. You are in, buddy. Okay. So Richie retains the wizard and the rogue. Jacer retains the elf and the knight. Alright. All right, uh, welcome, sir. Well, hi, hi everybody. Thanks for allowing me to pop in. Sure. I appreciate it. 
Well, at the start it was just going to be Richie controlling all five of these, and I was feeling bad for him. Like, oh man. <laughs> so, and then Jacer came, and now you're here with the final hour. All, all right. There right. we go. So you're in the living fog room, which is making it harder than heck to hit these monsters, but slowly they've whittled away the mob, except for this last stubborn Femir. And I missed with the elf. Missed. So he's just going to move one south. Okay. Okay. Um, you have a setup. I'm going to come into the other room and I can, I can tell you quickly about the, the barb stuff, if you want to take a note. Well, the yeah. Game is chat. Oh, yeah, you want to come to the room and I'll quickly give you the information or? Oh, sorry. I'm like I said, I'm, I'm acclimating myself here. I, I didn't, uh, Click where am I heading to? I'm sorry. Oh, are you sending it to him on the discord chat there? Yeah, I'll, I'll just type it to him. I'll message it to uh, message him. Yeah. We're going to come up with a better system. I promise. All right. I haven't been in the, an actual game in quite a bit. So lots have changed. I apologize. Okay. Does the where am I headed to for the room? Okay, so you're you're in our Discord chat, and you, I mean, you're in the voice channel, but you want to click on the little word balloon, the word bubble, whatever you call it. Oh, okay. You'll see the chat okay. there with all the skulls and everything. Got it. All right. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> That's a pretty kitty. Um, have the knight jump two spaces over underneath the uh, Femir. He'll swing. One, two. Okay. And missed. Yeah, we always have to roll one to see if we can actually hit through the mist. You gotta get a white shield to do it. Get the crossbowmen. One to the left and then all the way to the north. And then shoot at the Femir. So that way he's yes. right above the wizard. Yes. Missed. Missed. All right, Halberdier. Uh, he's going to move right above the rogue. One, two, three, four. Diagonal attack. All right, success. You can hit him. Okay, three dice. Two. Wounded twice. Two Does he defend? All right, let's find out. Okay, so I sent you the, oh, the information him. that uh, Strange Bus. Excellent. Yeah, I've got it. Thank you so much. Last monster falls. Got him. Right. Halibut. <laughs> you did it. Yay. It's Miller time. Or whatever brand you <laughs> prefer. <laughs> Gotta be too careful these days. All right. Uh, okay, so the monsters are wiped out. As long as it's wet. Ah, that's the spirit. Get it? Spirits? Anyway. Okay, so it would be my turn. Let me just see if I can draw a card to do some damage. Nope. Alright. Barbarian. Stranger Plus. Oh, cool. Um, get some attack in the uh, 
one of the oh yeah guy in front of me i believe kurt russell Where runs in and he's like ah, and he just looks over and uh, he sees bodies everywhere this is Every, gonna be yeah. this is gonna be very interesting <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, all, so all the monsters are dead oh they're just all dead okay oh, okay Monster. cool <laughs> even better, even better, because that totally explains my character. I just, just coming in, coming in late, swinging at nothing. Amazing. Amazing. Just redeemed cool. a bonus monster. So. Oh, we, we've oh, just perfect. been swinging at nothing for a while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a lot definitely. of misses. Bear, bear with me, because like I so said, the last time I was in a uh, an actual game, <laughs> we were not doing all this stuff, and I, I knew I should have, I should have braced for it, but I was all like, yeah, you know. Rolling my own die and oh man, you want something to play with? This is really cool. All right, so uh, oh, I like Yeti it. just just swooped up out of the out of the mist. Perfect. Thought you'd perfect. Just when you thought you'd uh, clear them all out. All right. Okay. All right. So what we're was... doing is we're 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 rolling for 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 attack here. Yeah. So you got to roll one die first to see if you can hit him or if you're just swinging wildly at mist. This, the living fog in this room makes it difficult for you to hit monsters. Monsters can see straight through it. Thanks, Fubar. Okay, so just H, HQ roll one, right? Yep. For this? Okay. Yep. Okay, you can hit him. Oh, okay, cool. And then it's just three for for, for attack, right? Well, no, you've oh, got Molly the Murderous. Two white, two black. Yeah. Oh, two, two white. Murderous. That's right. Okay, yep. Yeah. Two. Wampa right. entered the room. All right, there we go. Two black. Oh, two black. I'm so sorry. No, it's two white and two black. So just, so roll. just roll the two black and put them together. Yep. You can tell he's rusty. Skip leg day. I'm too. super rusty. Well, that and I've never. Well, I haven't done mentor bot yet, so I'm. Oh, well, I'm just learning all this on the fly. Oh, sweet. Welcome to my world. Indeed. Okay. So once again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's Excellent. go to roll two. Right? HQ roll two black. Okay. Yeah. Space between the number and black. Okay. There we go. Three total skulls. Nice. Yeah. Oh, come on. Not a hero, so that's three hits for the Yeti. The Yeti! You didn't see it, but uh, earlier the Barbarian uh, one shot at a gargoyle. Oh. <laughs> Is this the same Barbarian that's been rolling through the... Yeah. He's like since day one? He's, de he's died a couple of times along the way, but he always seems to come back. Oh, all right. He has a potion. Yeah, somebody's uh, got a potion uh, uh. for him. I think there was one time he fell into the abyss, but the uncommon feat was that they were able to drag him back out. He'd hung on by his fingertips. Uh, wow. That barbarian had seen some things and some stuff. Seeing things you wouldn't believe. Uh, I bet oh, the room has been checked already, right? Well, monsters still, no. still standing. Oh yeah, you can't do it with monsters. Once again, sorry. I'm gonna make some really new moves. I haven't done this in a very long time. All right, so. stop. Stop apologizing. You, have to, you don't it's, have to give me free daggers, but yeah. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Okay. After the barbarian. Rogue. Okay, Pitching so the rogue. Is, um, I'm going to attack the yay with my double dagger. I think it's good to get to First, hits you're going to have to move into position, though. Okay, just move me in position. The barbarian is like, no! <laughs> Prepare to unleash something on him. Yeah. So I can go, I can still attack him side on, yeah, with that double dagger. Yes. But you're just, I'm just saying you're going to have to move into range. So either here yeah. or here. Next to the bar. Okay. And then I'm going to start rolling. 
We'd be rolling. I'm sure you got at least two. Uh, yeah, of course. Malkadon X says, when the Barbarian looks into the Abyss, the Abyss will offer you a deal on your card charts. <laughs> okay. Wow. And what are you attacking him with? A uh, dagger, wasn't it? Okay. Two daggers. Dagger, so dagger. I was going to you know, try and... It would have to be the long sword because he's diagonal. Well, no. You can throw da you can throw daggers diagonally. Oh, you can? Yeah. Doesn't say you can. All right. Oh, so it's only the crossbow. Yeah. That's how I choose to interpret it. Okay. Uh, so... is one, one dice for dagger or two? The first attack. Okay, so... Two because he's next to... Uh, he's adjacent yeah. to other heroes. Yeah, it'd be two. Okay. okay. Three. Be, would it be two and two or two and one? I think two and one. I think you can only use them okay. once per turn. Okay, yeah, so one more. So this one's unblockable. This... Oh, well, it, it missed. Okay, but, but one hit for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it gets rather confusing. It's a hit. Yeah. So that's four. Is he so dead he's, yet? He's got one left. Okay. Move the whiz Five. next to him. And I'll attack him with my stick. Two. Eight ball in the corner. Hit him with the stick. Yeah, hit him with the stick. No! <laughs> it, it was oh, it was going so well. It was. Last turn. Okay. Jaser. The white hair thing. Missed thing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, he missed. He's going to move um, up two spaces. Alright. Okay. Night. Night hits. Right. For two. For two. Ching. And, and it hits. Out Whoa. from under him. Oh, he swept the leg. Yeah. Down he goes. All right, now having re redisposed of the monster, the uh, the, mer the mercs are gonna stay and stand there. Okay. All right, my turn. Yeah, they're not opening doors or moving or anything. You can go. All right, go ahead, Barbarian. Okay. Um, are, are we just having predefined movement now, or are we still rolling? You don't have to roll. There's no monsters on the board. Okay, so I will just... Six, you have eight. Okay, I'll just head for the room on the far right. Three. Are you opening the door? Yes, I'm opening the door. He's opening the door, folks. Kicking down the door. <laughs> Kicked it so hard it knocked the other door off. <laughs> Just about. All right, so you open the door and... I have to roll an uncommon feat for that. <laughs> I mean, if you want to. I don't feel like taking damage. Just okay. <laughs> Splinters. Alright, so inside the room are a couple of Chaos Warriors. Yay! Which, these guys don't seem that... Well, they've still got... <laughs> what am I saying? They can still put the pain to you guys. Nothing. 
be more painful than the this room that we just passed. Well, that's true. You guys are in the fog and they aren't. So if I were to go forward, though, I would be blocking my companions from attacking, right? Well, at least one of them, because that's a pretty tight, tight space. Because you guys can't jump over me to, to engage, right? Well, if you smash one, then we'd have more space. Oh, okay, yeah. There's two spaces there, so... I will, uh... Or you could attack through the doorway, I mean... It's all up to you. Yeah, I guess I could... Uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll attack through, through the doorway, I suppose. Just right. rolling to attack. Two black, two white. No need for misty rolls. Oh, okay. If they attack us, do they have to roll for misty rolls? Oh, whoop. my bad. Sorry. That'd be funny. I forgot. Forgot the number. <laughs> you see that happen quite a lot. All right, you're still valid. Oh, oh let's see, you my, gotta do okay. it. The number and then the color. Yeah, I'll have to tell Ribby about that one. Uh oh. Oopsies. See, it's like people try every com possible combination. He's going to have to program that in. Making it difficult. Two skulls. Okay. Chaos Warrior. And then... Wait a minute. What do you. Oh. It's supposed to be two white, two black. Oh, okay. My start, bad. Start over. Just just do HQ roll two. I'm testing white, you today. Two black. Ah, uh, you're being PSK today, huh? <laughs> Shout out <laughs> I'm to I'm testing that guy. every possible combination. It's like, ah, uh, you need a bug fix. And then uh, when you're done, hit copy and paste because that's your attack and that's the one you're going to be using all the time. The white and the black uh, command? Yeah, the two white, two black, yeah. You could have done it all as one, but yeah, that works. Okay, so two skulls. Oh, uh, okay. See, the things I'm learning right now, just off the fly, you know? Oh, that's two hits. So he's just got one left. Bada boom. Big bada boom. Okay. Rogue. Yep. He's gonna roll for movement, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the rogue can pass through monsters too, so he has can go wherever he wants, pretty much. Eight. Eight. So I'll go behind one of the monsters, the first one. Seven. All right. What are you attacking Attack with? with a long sword. Okay. Long sword. So that's only three this time, because he's not next yeah. to any heroes. It's the one that's already been attacked. Yep. <laughs> Got it. One skull. Hey, Ribby. <laughs> Ribby, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, he's Just showing strange bots. A mysterious figure enters the room, <laughs> starts throwing magic at everyone, and then disappears. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Like combination, I see. Yeah, yeah, he's right. Thanks, so Ruby. Two white, two black. Thank you so much. I I appreciate it. Just learning on the fly today. Yeah. Never stop learning. Never stop. Never stopping. Okay. So one skull, and I didn't defend any of it. So. Chaos Warrior. I know I'm not the world's greatest painter, but it's uh, it's been a lot of fun, and it's going to be more fun as I continue painting them. How dare you not paint your fingers a pearlescent? <laughs> a pearlescent uh, rainbow of glitter and insanity. I will move the the wizard to next to the uh, elf. Okay. And search for traps. Alright, there's no traps, but there is a lot of swirling mist in this room. Let's 
say. Rogue nope. best new hero. Ah. I mean, I like the knight a lot, but the rogue is much more interesting. I mean, the rogue is more interesting than the knight, I think. The knight is just more like, here's a really solid guy. The rogue has all kinds of tricks. He He's a little soft at the start, though. So you kind of got to put him through his paces. Yeah. A little squishy. A little squishy. But, I mean, if we were starting at the beginning of the game and you're fighting, like, low-level monsters, he'd just be cutting through them like nothing. Okay. So, Jaser, uh, what are you up to? At 11? Yep. Yeah, the elf got 11. He's going to go next to his uh, elven pal, the rogue, there. Two, three. Hey. They do a little fist bump. This way he's south of the uh, chaos warrior, and he's going to attack. Oh, he's going to go south. Wait, he's going to yes. like, get the... He's going to be like, uh, rogue, get the tables. <laughs> well, hold the ladder. <laughs> uh, two skulls. Look, here's the lighter fluid. Good hit. Uh, one black shield. One hit. I, the knight is definitely the second best new hero. So nine. 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 He's getting his own pack with the Rise of the Dread Moon, July 15th. I guess move him four so that he's above the rogue. That way the rogue's protected from uh, attacks. He tries to do the fist bump, and at first they're kind of just like. Seriously, Let's dude. miss each other. Like, ah, why not? Hey. <laughs> and he missed. Oh, too bad he wasn't a monster. Took a wide swing. Uh, they look disappointed. You had him. <laughs> the uh, the crosser man one to uh, moves right about right north of the chaos warrior. Surrounding the monsters once again. One hit. We'll see about that. And it hit you. Hit your arm. All right. Uh, I guess the halberdier moves two mo two spaces to the right, and he's gonna swing. One skull. Ching. No damage. Alright, looks like you got your pick of targets. <laughs> yes, indeed. Alright, let's go for the crossbowman. Three skulls. And a dead crossbowman. Dead Barbarian, <laughs> you've got a space now. Yeah, space <laughs> cage. It's it's quite a party in there. Well, as, as the crossbowman goes down, he he like signals like get him. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I I named the crossbowman Sure Shot. He only hit one person, and that was with the broadsword. Every shot he fired missed. <laughs> like naming the big guy so... tiny. All right, so I guess I'll just go to the only space that's available, and. Uh... I'll attack. We're not, we're not ostracizing you. We just uh. Correct me if I'm doing anything wrong here, but you did it. He did it. Did it. Two skulls. Cast word defends. Ching and a hit.
One left. I'm whittling him down. Mm-hmm. All right, rogue. Which is rogue? Uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go for a long sword attack. Four, yeah. Yep. One hit. And a wrestling move. Yeah. What? RKO! So you get to do a wrestling move. So pick your favorite uh, or appropriate pro wrestling attack. Appropriate? It's gotta be, enough? it's gotta be, it's gotta be like um, Stone Cold, you know, when he was doing the, the ropes thing where he does the rope thing and then like jumps on them and starts punching his head on the, while he's on the deck. <laughs> and he's just so, going to town on him. <laughs> yeah. All right, and down he goes. <laughs> he jumps off the stone wall, and he just collapses on him. Just doesn't stop. Somebody pull him off of him. Yep. There's at least a couple of middle fingers in there, too, somewhere. <laughs> yeah, and a couple <laughs> hell yes. Yeah, and a beer can, you know, he just threw and throws a beer in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, clean him, clean him up. That's the bottom line. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so go to Wiz, yeah, and then uh, Wiz will search the room for uh, for uh, treasure. Okay. And roll a d6. Wow. Yeah, this, this space, I'll go. I'll roll a d6. If you can find anything in all that mist. Potion of magic resistance. Well, here's that potion that we would have used. Okay. That's where that's where uh, the knight dropped it. Yep. Aha! <laughs> he found it. I found it. Finders keepers. Well, you can always uh -oh. pass it to him if you want, but you don't have to. Okay. So magic resistance. Oops. I I will go into the next room. In that empty spot with the with and then pass turn okay so this is the magic resistance that has it's for damage okay so you're okay. going to go into the empty spot one two three four five all right well if there were any traps in there clearly there weren't any because <laughs> yep well we would have found them <laughs> Fubar Jr. says, Jacer, I think you misheard the crossbow men introduce themselves. He's a little drunk, slurred his words. He said, my name is Norshot. <laughs> I'm just holding this crossbow for some guy. <laughs> yeah, he's got a southern accent, I think, like uh, an old cowboy, you know. My name and you're hired. Norshot. <laughs> <laughs> like an old prospector. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm uh making my way through the um Man with No Name trilogy. I think it's going to take me a little while, but it's quality stuff. Hey, sir. Yeah. Is the elf going to search for treasure? Okay. Why? Why not? Potion of healing, plus four. Always useful. Okay, so plus four healing for the elf. So he's now got two of those, correct? Yep. Okay. Knight. Um, well, the, the, uh, yeah, you know what, I'll, I'll leave the elf in there and the knight will search for treasure. Well, where's the wandering monster going to go? That's probably what you're thinking. Oh, so you want to, wait, you want to leave the room too? No, I'm going to have him stay there. Now it makes more sense. I'll have the knight search for treasure. Well, the, the, 
the elf was gonna search and move, but he might as well stay there. Yeah. And the so. wandering monster lands in your lap. <laughs> well, I just have to put him close as I can. Uh, now, a hazard can't be dodged that way, but yeah. A little loophole in the game rules there. This is the night, right? Yes. Hazard! Well, how did I know that was gonna happen? One body point. Hidden arrow. Down, down to three. Arrow in the knee. Oh no. That stupid crossbow an fired. He was, a, he was an adventurer just like you. Somebody stepped on that crossbowman's crossbow and it just shot him in the knee. Shot. Darn rootin' tootin'. <laughs> okay, so let's do a body point check here. Uh, so the knight is down to... Three. three and barbarian yep. should have nine rogue should have three elf three wizard three yep yep excellent and halberdier is undamaged okay uh, the, the halberdier is going to move uh to the right he'll open that door And I guess walk out the secret door. Okay. One, two, three. Into the hallway? Yep. Four. And I'll stand there and look and guard. Okay. Wow. Alright, my turn. All right, go ahead, Barbarian. Um, can I check for, for treasure? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Everybody gets to search once. Ouch. <laughs> nothing, despite a thorough search, you find nothing. Darn it to pieces. Thanks for playing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing. You get nothing. Good day, sir. Someone was commenting. I can't remember. I wish I could remember who said it, but like my heroes hate that card more than all the others. More than the hazards, more than the wandering monsters. Nothing. What do you mean nothing? Oh, I'm one of lose. Good day, sir. Mm. Stole fizzy lifting drinks. Okay. Uh, Barbarian gonna do anything else? Mm. I don't think I can move, can I? I already did the action. I can't remember. You can still move. move oh, in cool. action, move. action, right. move. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Elkadon this. Elkadon X, this is my favorite card. I wish they added that to the US version. Well, that's why you use a printing service. Hey, they could still slip it into the Rise of the Dread Moon. You never know. Just like they could put the boot tile in there if they wanted. Six. Okay. All right, I'm going to move so eight. Two, two to the right, and then I'm just going to go down through that door. Four, five. Keep going. Um, no, I'm going to stop. I can't check for anything else, though, right? Right. Yeah, so I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop right there. Yeah, and I'll just tell you, um, these areas have been explored, but I can't Oops. remember if you might not have searched for treasure yet in that one. So I mean, you know, you still could try to get some more loot. It feels familiar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just in, a, in another doors. another barbarian lifetime. Uh, there's no more closed doors in that area. Now there is, what you're looking for, is the crystal key that opens this door. But we already know from the storyline that you've got to go down the sp spiral staircase into the second level to try to find it and then come back. So have you explored everywhere? I'm not saying you have. So there could be still, still more things to find on this level. So he's not oh. wrong. He 
he's not wrong. Okay, Rogue. Well, sorry, um, full roll. Yeah, just take uh, 12 or. Yeah, you can take your 12. Hey, Major Aznable, welcome. Welcome back. I will search for treasure. Heart of Ice. Okay. So the Rogue is searching for treasure, alright? Wandering monster. Yeah. And on this quest, it's a couple of polar war bears, but guess what? You're right there, and they can't really get very close. So let's put them as close as they can get. It should be right here. Phone boost stuffing, hero quest style. Okay. Now the rogue no can still move, act. and he can actually yeah. move through them, but he can't do an attack because his action's been taken. I will. I'll move into the. <laughs> I'll move into the next room, like, or onto the door of the right room. No, I can't even attack. I'll move. I'll move out of the way into the next room. Just like uh, one tile clear of the door. Okay, into the blue room or the fog room. The right room. Okay. One, two, three, four. Right into the door doorway or. Uh, just past it so that people can get out. I guess. Okay. I mean, they can pass through you, but. Okay. Yeah, I. I just. Yeah, it means that the monster has to chase me if they want it. Yeah. I will then. Hubar, oh, That's this is a comment from before. He says, and anytime you ask Bono, he'll tell you that he still hasn't found what he's looking for. <laughs> oh, nice. I also have those Reaper bones. Two reference. Labra. Yeah. Yeah. I'll attack the the guy nearest uh, the wizard. Past past the wizard, then I'll attack. With my my wood staff and okay, so you're gonna att attack and then run, or yeah, I'll attack and run. Okay, stick and move. <laughs> Let's fly. <laughs> HQ roll. Yeah. Two, two black. One hit. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So these guys only defend with three. Ching. Deflected. All right, so you're moving. Yeah, I'll go as far as I can away from this area. Okay. Into the hallway if I can. Well, oh, man. You, maybe not. You can go. Well, you can go behind the other two heroes. Is what you can do. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Get them, guys. <laughs> I missed the party. You're at the party, Victor. Okay. Right. Pass to Jace. Alright. What do you think, Jace the Elf? Jace, are you? Muted. North one. Oh, am I muted? No, I can hear you now. Okay. He's gonna move north one and attack the polar war bear. Okay. Three skulls. Wow. Three hits. And he didn't even see it coming. No. That's half damage. For him. Okay. Knight. Knight is going...
going to... He's going to go for the diagonal one. Uh, the diagonal attack and hit the same, the wounded one. Smart. He's got two double attacks coming. Oh, down wait. I got to I gotta redo that. Why? It's one black. Uh, it's one black dice. Oh, they're the wandering okay. monster. That's right. That's right. That's Thanks right. for reminding me. Yeah, one black, two white. Probably gonna get the same thing. Watch, I'll get the same thing. It's been working out that way. <laughs> Good old Ribby. Wow, oh, nice three. Okay, that's three. All right. That could be a kill if you don't if I don't block some of these. Oh, excellent! Down he goes. Yes. Nice one. Old Karth saying, "Down you go." Okay. So Halibut comes running back in and charges the other one. <laughs> one, two, on three. solo style. Uh, one. Nothing. Han Solo or er, leaves Han Solo style. Uh, sure has a lot of courage. Yeah. A lot of good it's gonna do if he gets himself killed. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, my turn. Yes, it is. A little hot today, and he's doing fine. Yeah, it's hot, hot here too. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna direct all of my rage, as a polar war bear, against the help here. Poor guy. Two skulls oh. only. He got a chance. Wow. And he died. Oh, uh, he's already wounded. No chance. That's what you got. There's always a chance. I was hoping for three skulls or three uh, shields. That would have been amazing. Especially with all that that you were rolling, you know, so you only pulled three. Dude, I, I expected him to get like dominated. Imagine <laughs> if I had missed. Yeah. <laughs> Humiliation. Oh, it happens. Doesn't happen often, but it happens. Okay. Uh, let's see. I could try to move, I suppose. And get maximize. Okay. One, two. I'm gonna go into the room here. I'm gonna swap out that door because it's kind of bugging me. And let's swap this one out. It's a little more room. Okay. All right. Go ahead, barbarian. All right. Oh, second here. Did you guys run go. out of mercs already? Says Fubar. I'm gonna. Uh, Thunderstorms. What's that tile? Uh, that's just there showing is. that. That's a skull tile showing that uh, he's taken one damage. Oh, that that question mark. The question mark. Yeah. That means that somebody searched and found that there was a trap there. Okay, so I can't. I'm not gonna step on that. I'm just gonna move forward too, and I'm gonna attack. Um. Can I, do, I can attack that. Yeah, I can attack that. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, kill me! Come on. Waiting for yeah. Go. Do it now! Oh, whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do it! All right. <laughs> Hit him at least once. Ching, and then three hits. That's four. Okay, he's not dead yet. He's got two left. And then Rogue is like four. I get to attack with four dice. Yeah. No, uh, only three. Oh, why? I'm adjacent to the barb now. No, the monster has to be adjacent. Like you're flank, uh, flanking oh, the attack. Oh, no, I get, I get what he's saying. He's, he's right. It's three. 
I was, yeah. Okay. It's the monster, not like if you had a hero just next to you. Like, hey, you can do it, buddy. I mean, although that would be a cool ability as well. Okay, one's cool. You can. Come on, bring one back for uh, bring one back for Jedi Outcast and bring back the backstab. Let's go. That's right. Ugh. One left. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, if they bring the backstab back. Um, Jedi Outcast. Popped him back on. Jedi Academy <laughs> 2, Jedi Outcast 2, Jedi 3, Jedi 4. I'm gonna Everyone. move into the, the hallway, go south, okay. and then east. Wait, are you going through the secret door or through the other door? Yeah, secret door, secret door. Okay. Oh wait, there was a secret door there? Oh no. Yeah. Oh, is that the tile you were asking about? No, I. So, I didn't even. I I was wondering how the halberdier got there at first, and I didn't even notice. It flew right over my head. <laughs> it's cool. Idea, Shows man. how long. Oh it's been. yeah! It smashes through the wall. It just burst through the wall. <laughs> Okay. okay, anyway. Yeah, okay, so you're out in the hall, and then were you going to keep moving? I'm sorry, I got hung up on the jokes. Uh, I used the rest of my moves to go south and east. Okay, so how much? Eight. Eight total, so... Yeah. Three, four, five, six. Keep going south? East. Or east. Seven, eight. Okay. That was, was uh... Yeah. I'll just tell you, this is to an area you've already explored. If you're looking oh, for what where... About... Yeah, what about this building? This, this room northern, with the door. This northern this horseshoe like... you haven't gone. Yeah, that door... Uh, in the last session, they checked, and they you need the crystal key to open it. Oh, okay. Okay. And you can see okay, so you passed by this dead end here. Okay. Okay. I'll use the wizard and I rolled eight. So I'll go to in front of the the smasher guy. Three. The wet bear. Alright. I rolled eight, so yeah. Just to the right of him. He threw his right before the... Oh, oh, I can't pass through the, the, zone, the, no, no, no. the guy. Only the rogue gets that. Right. gets to do that sort of trickery. Okay, so I'm gonna whack him with a stick. The pointy end. Ooh, it was the pointy end. Two skulls. Yes. Ching and a hit. Okay, let's see. Is that enough? I think he's, I said he only had one left. Three, four, five. Yep, he got him. Ah! Uh -huh. Told you, been, boys. He's, he's been doing that. The wizard's been doing that. <laughs> this whole quest. He just comes in and finishes him off. Cracked him with the, the stick. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nicely done. Okay, um... Pass turn to Chaser. All right, we've got eight minutes left. Wow, time flies. To be fair, I did spend the first uh, hour chatting about other stuff. Yeah. Go for it. Have the elf uh, start heading towards the unexplored areas. Okay. So you want to go to the secret door, or you mean into the red room and keep looking? Uh, the, the, the secret door. Okay. All right, what'd you get for... Oh, you're going to do 12. One, two, three, four. All right, which way you want to go? North? It's north. Is it north that we haven't searched? Correct. Yeah, let me go nor uh, north. Wandering monster trap. Polar war bears appear. Oh, man. All right. Let's see, so the elf is down to three. Ooh, this could hurt. All right, first one double attacks. 
Four skulls. That's the northern one. Okay, you deflected two of them. Two damage. What? You got healing potions on the elf? Yes. He's got two... Three, four... He's got four healing potions. He's got the most, I think. Alright, so I had to... I, I drew a potion, it was only for the barbarian. So I redrew, and you got a potion of healing for the elf. Thanks, Ruby. Thanks, Fubar. Okay, so the elf has a, a d6. Alright, but five, I'm, six, six is I'm gonna attack him again with the other the other uh, polar war bear. Double attack. Four skulls. Elf, defend. Two ting and then two hits. Dead. Yeah. One D six. All right. Try the last minute save. Four. He's alive. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good though now. I'll just have to edit out some of that, uh, some of that problem. Okay, so the D6 is used up. Okay, so that was the wandering monster that he triggered. All right, knight. Not he really still gets an action. Oh, yes, he? yes, you're right, because he just stepped on the square. That's it. Um. He wants to take a retaliatory strike or do something else. He's got. Let's see, out of his potion, or I mean his spells, I uh, have that he's used up his heal body, but he still has his rock skin and his pastor rock. Right? No, he used his pastor rock. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, gosh. So he does have. Well, heal body and rock skin. I don't feel the least bit sorry for you then. <laughs> Not that I would. No one left to kill. I killed them all. Pee in his pants is a free action. <laughs> He's right about that, you know. It, it forms like an icy layer, and then that's like extra defense, maybe. That's an uncommon feat. Very uncommon. <laughs> to roll to pee your pants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roll to see if I'm getting drunk. <laughs> Okay, what are we doing here? Let's back on target. This is the last round. Okay, so the knight. I think the well, I think the only thing the elf can really do. Oh yeah, then is a is a cast the knight. Yeah, uh, so we'll do. I guess the the one to the north, or no, no, wait, the one to the left, the east. West. I'm getting tired too. Okay, the West. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say. I mean, you've got like all these potions that you could be using, but I mean, if you wanna. Well, I got I got for the elf. I got warmth, defense, air walk, aptitude, holy water, shellac and mortar, vision, recall, and two heals. You don't have air walk anymore. Oh, okay, then I'll, I'll cross that one off. Okay, two warmth, recall. Vision, defense, aptitude, two plus four healing, shellac and mortar. And then your two spells. Yep. Okay. Hola. Hey, Major Aznable. Catching us right at the end here. 
Okay, so, all right, so your action is, you're attacking? Attack and it's two skulls. Oh, my bad. And a partridge and a parachute. Yeah, we're all getting tired here. Just you roll three for defense. The one to the west. Two hits. All right, so you damage the polar war bear. He's got four left. All right, knight. Nine. So he's going to go right next to, right underneath the uh, elf and attack diagonally. Seven, eight, nine. It's true. Because he can still poke him with the longsword. Fortune's longsword. Two skulls. Nothing. Two more hits. That's it for them. Two left. Yeah, no mercenaries. All right. Well, I think I'm going to just cut it off here. So next time it will be Zargon's turn. Everybody remember that? Zargon's turn next time. Uh, thanks, everybody, for playing. Major Asmul just upgraded a monster. Ooh, I'll have to save that. Okay. Let's put uh, Zargon's turn. Monster upgrade. So I get all week to think about it. <laughs> Plasmagon. Dreadnought. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys, for playing. Thanks for the participants in the chat for keeping it interesting. So we got Aconite, Thank Shadow you. Moss, Fubar Jr., Jacer, of course, Ribby, of course, Richie, Rich Boy, of course, Toddy Bowl 81. And is there anybody on Twitch that we could raid? Let's have to check here. I hate to ask, uh, Strange Boss, but are you streaming after this? No pressure. If I, no, I, well, I am. I'm actually planning on doing uh, those Lord of the Rings games. Oh, heck yeah, bro. So, it's going to be great. I actually got most of them to work except for the second uh, Battle from Alert that requires uh, some fin fin finagling. So, I'm going to do the first one and then uh, Conquest and War of the North and all nice. that stuff. So. Now, when you said the first one, you mean like the Hobbit game or you mean Battle for Middle Earth? Um, yeah, no, I'll be doing the Fellowship of the Ring. Yeah, the Hobbit game and oh. for Xbox. And then I'll be doing the uh, Battle for Middle Earth and then War of the North and then Conquest. Okay check this guy out i i'm sad that i have to go to bed <laughs> but I'll, i can always watch it on the vod okay so we'll end the stream here thanks everybody once again check us out on hero quest fans i'll have to post this probably monday on youtube and we'll go ahead and stick around because we're going to raid strange bus next 15 thanks, dead man. mercs on this quest alone how many 15 dang for the Fallen. Major Asimov says, when do you normally start? Upgrades. I missed it today. Yeah, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I actually started on time. But I spent like the first hour talking about the Rise of the Dread Moon stuff. So, yeah. But it was a good time. Okay. All right. We'll end the stream and get ready for the raid.